Hi, this is Dan and Lexi from Dan Schultz Outdoors, reminding you, keep the adventures alive. Hey y'all, I'm Johnny. And I'm Colleen. And we're the Keel Quest. And we want you to keep the adventures alive. Cheers. Hey, this is Darren from My Paddle Repeat, encouraging you to keep the adventures alive. This is David from Beastly Ironworks saying keep the adventures alive. Hi, I'm Kevin Collin, the Happy Camper. Remember, keep the adventures alive. Awesome! Woo, buddy! Shug here! Keep the adventures alive. I am. Ethan here, the Avid Outdoorsy Guy, reminding you to keep the adventures alive. We're John and Aaron. Keep the adventures alive. Hey everyone, it's Kylan from Lure of the North, and I encourage you to keep the adventures alive. This is Sky North telling you keep the adventures alive and now on with the show hey well happy happy tuesday evening everybody hope everybody's had a great week and welcome back to another edition of canoe hounds outdoor adventure show a show that brings you a lot closer to the great outdoors by bringing you hot topics and the outdoor personalities on youtube that you enjoy and watch my name is dennis also known as canoe hound and if this is your first time visiting this show and watching tonight Welcome. Hopefully uh, you take a lot away from the show. It's a, it's a fun show that we put together every week. If you're coming in and uh, you're watching this after as a, a recording, just let it be known that we are live every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, yeah, man, we got, we got a fun little episode here for you tonight. Uh, if you haven't already done so, you don't have to do it right at this point, but if you are new to the channel, Feel free to hit that subscribe button and maybe the uh, like button and don't forget the notifications. Uh, that way there you can be alerted to all of our upcoming episodes or you can also keep up to date with that stuff on our Facebook page at Canoe Hound at Canoe Hound's Outdoor Adventure Show. That's the one. Uh, first time tripping over the tongue tonight. I do it every single week. Uh, I'd like to start with uh, a little bit of news and updates here before uh, we get into our, our topic or our guest tonight. Uh, just so that the chat over here can get all populated um, and get all our regulars in here. That would be great. Uh, as I mentioned the last couple of weeks there, we are now live streaming as well on uh, Facebook. Same show. Obviously, it's going to feed to both directions. Uh, getting good feedback from that as well. We've had a lot of people viewing through Facebook, but I just want to let it be known that uh, it's best being viewed through YouTube. That way there you can participate more easily. But uh, hey, if Facebook is your thing, 
feel free to enjoy the show on Facebook. That's always a good thing. That's why we uh, we started broadcasting on Facebook as well. Uh, last week, we were joined by Kevin Callen, and we discussed planning a spring backcountry canoe or backpacking trip. Uh, we covered all kinds of tips and tricks and all kinds of great advice and uh, how-tos and how-not-tos as far as uh, preparing for a spring trip, which can be a lot different than a fall or summer or winter trip, obviously, right? Each season has its own challenges. And uh, we did, uh, we had really good response uh, from viewers like yourself sending in emails uh, saying how much you enjoyed the show. We had a lot of people uh, reaching out and asking for uh, my canoe packing list, which is still available if anybody ever wants a, uh, a copy of my packing list. Just drop me an email over at canoehound at gmail.com and I'll, uh, I'll gladly, gladly send one of them out to you. They're free and uh, just something that's uh, pretty helpful for you. Uh, last week's uh, swag winners, uh, we had two winners uh, due to the generosity of one of our viewers. Thank you very much. You know who you are. Uh, he preferred to remain an anonymous. Anonymous. So that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, last week's winner, we had uh, uh, Mohsen Bujwala. And we had Kyle Kemp. So congratulations, guys. Your prizes are already in the mail because I've already reached out to you and got all the information that I need. And uh, that's all good. I and mean, things are on the way. So yeah. Uh, I'd also like to uh, welcome our newest and thank our uh, our newest channel members. There again, once again, uh, uh, Musin uh, Bujwala, uh, Frank's Outdoors, and Joseph Rankovic. Uh, they're new members to the channel. Thanks very much for your support. And then, of course, our regular shout outs to our solo paddler members who are Stein Orth, uh, Kevin with an A, Smoking Our Barbecue, and Jeremy Walla. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Uh, all everything that comes in actually goes back out to everybody by way of swag giveaways and, uh, you know, just supporting uh, channel software and stuff like that. So, uh, it's greatly appreciated. And I get the occasional beer here and there. So, that's uh, that's uh, always something good for the show. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a channel member, there is a link at the bottom that says join. That's on Facebook. You would see it on Facebook. And uh, you have there's three different categories on there. There's the uh, day tripper, there's a weekend tripper, and there's a solo tripper. Each one uh, has different price levels, and each one of them comes with different perks and benefits. Uh, you get the previous per perks and benefits of the packages before that, right? So uh, feel free to check it out. But even more importantly... Uh, we are doing a big giveaway at the end of March, on March 31st. First, uh, right now the prize package is at oh, actually it's over $350. We've got things in there like uh, an ursac, we've got a kid twig stove, uh, fire strikers, pocket bellows, uh, t-shirt, hat, all kinds of neat stuff in there. Uh, and it's going to go to one of our lucky membership winners. Okay, that will be drawn live on a members only live stream on March 31st. I'll get the details out to all the members uh, before that happens so that uh, you can know and be there. And depending on what level you come in at will depend or determine how many ballots you get for the draw. So the higher the package, the more ballots. And you can see that uh, ticking across the bottom right now. You get one ballot for day tripper, three for weekend, and six for the solo tripper level. Okay. Uh, I also like to reach out and thank uh, our, our channel supporters. Uh, without them, it helps the channel tick along as well. Uh, Ursac USA, Backcountry Coffee Company. You see me drinking their coffee every single week. There's a ceremonial sip. Uh, we got Kid Products, makers of the Kid Twig Stove and Reflector Oven. Uh, Algonquin Outfitters, Great Signs and Graphics. And our friends over at Short Hills Beard Company. The ones who keep this scruff looking eh, so, so, right? Uh, all their links can be found in the description below. And if you happen to do business with any of these companies, you know, it's really important to let them know where they're being noticed from. Let them know. Canoe Hound sent me, or I seen you on Canoe Hound Adventures. Last week, uh, the swag giveaway question was, name two of the uh, of our suppliers. And it, it would give me a good indication to see if you're actually noticing who, who the supplier or our, our sponsors are. So that's great. Thanks very much, guys and gals, for all your participation. We had a lot of entries last week. That was awesome. Uh, just to let you know, our iron-on patches are still available, and they're here somewhere on my desk. There are two for ten dollars, or one for six. And if you get the two for ten, I'll also throw in the decal pack. We cover that every week, plus free shipping. And all you need to do is email me at canoehound at gmail dot com. Uh, shoot me ten bucks, and I'll get the package right out in the mail to you. And what we got here? Two more little things. Uh, next week, 
Remember a couple of weeks back, we had uh, mentioned, uh, I was asking for suggestions and somebody had suggested uh, that it'd be a great idea to have uh, an axe safety show. Well, I reached out to uh, Council Tools, uh, who are makers of some really good axes and they're out of the, uh, the U United States. And uh, somebody who I've seen do a lot of representing for that company, and he, he goes by the, the nickname Rooster. His name is Craig Roost. He's going to be joining us next week, and we're going to be talking about all kinds of axe safety to keep you safe at home and in the back country. And then he's going to talk about different types of axes and the styles and what you should be carrying into the back country based on what your needs are. So next week, you'll really want to check that out. His advice that he's going to give us and the tips he's going to give us can really save your shins. I don't know if you've ever seen him, anybody that's taken an axe to the shin by a, an, a bad strike or some sort of axe accident, but usually the results are not pretty. So uh, feel free to tune in and make sure uh, you learn a little bit about axe safety out there. And once again, if you have any more topics or uh, people you'd like to see on the show, make sure you drop me an email as well at canoehound.gmail.com, which is our common email address, right? And if you have any questions tonight for our guest, which we're going to be getting to in one second here, make sure you put the question in capital letters over in the chat over there. It's just going to make it easier for me to see. But later on in the show, I'm also going to welcome a bunch of you up if you want to come on and ask any questions or share a story or something like that. Feel free to do it. It makes it a lot more fun when we have uh, audience participation uh, to get to see some new faces of the people over in the chat over there that I might not have ever met before. It's always uh, great to to uh, to have your input. So don't be shy. Come on up. All you need is a webcam and a microphone on your computer, and you're good to go. I'll put the links up later. So without further ado, I'm going to drop this ticker going across the bottom, and I'm going to introduce tonight's guest. Uh, tonight, tonight's guest is the host of the TV show and radio podcast called The Camping Show. Uh, he's a, also an avid outdoors lover and a personality of the YouTube channel CW Gets Outdoors. Uh, which gives people tips, techniques, and videos on recreational camping. Please welcome to the live stream tonight, C.W. Getz. Good evening, Dennis. How you doing? Good, man. There's that radio voice, eh? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there. Yeah, that's uh, Heineken, voiced by Heineken, right? Voice. <laughs> hey, I tell you, I could use that uh, axe safety course. I put one of those, uh, well, it was actually a hatchet, but I put one on my kneecap uh, oh. several years ago. Yeah, so and I bet you it wasn't pretty, was it? Well, you know, aside from the blood, I mean, but but it was just more of an embarrassment than anything, you know, supposed to yeah. be an outdoors guy and he puts a hatchet in his kneecap, right? So, yeah. Yeah. I had a buddy, I had a buddy with an Aaron strike with an axe one time and it it got him like more in the meat of the calf. Yeah. Right? Good thing it didn't catch him on the shin cuz we all know how much meat we have over our, our shin bone, right? Yeah, not a lot there. No. And yeah, man, it's uh it's scary and then you see videos like uh, you know, and it, it was kind of a weird freaky accident but uh Jim Baird, right? From uh well, yeah. you know, Jim Baird. Sure. Uh his one trip there with his brother there, he like sliced his hand open and he still got the adverse effects of it there. That was yeah. just like a, a freak accident, right? So, yeah. You know, stuff like that's weird. I, and it's funny. It, it, it wasn't a, a camping thing, but I actually have uh, a scar from some stitches. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's some stitches there. Mm -hmm. I uh, I did a wall plate and I just slammed it down to get the little plastic cover off. And uh, I don't know, maybe it was five or six stitches in there. I still have no feeling in the tip of my finger. And this has probably been um, seven years ago, something like that, seven, eight years ago. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And you, you know what? When you do something like that, you learn, right? You learn fast. You never forget it. <laughs> you never forget it. For I'm not sure. sure that you learn because I do a lot of other stupid things, but but you never forget that instant. <laughs> that's for sure. Hey, just want to shout out a new channel member here, Donald Dakota. Donald, thanks very much, man. Appreciate the support. Uh, drop me your uh, your drop me an email at canoehound at gmail .com. Let me know your mailing address. I get your uh, your channel sticker out and stuff like that. Okay, we'll get your perks started right away. Thanks, Donald. Yeah. So, okay, CW. So, tell 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 the people a bit about you know you you have a you have a great radio podcast. Uh, you're now extending that out into uh, sort of like a, a television program, right? Yeah, yeah. We just started that about uh, I think four or five, maybe four weeks ago, something like oh, that. Tell yeah. us about it. Tell, tell, like I, I want to learn more about it because I just I just recently come across your stuff about a month ago. And uh, was rather intrigued because it's it's kind of in the lines of what I'm doing. I don't want to do TV because I don't have a face for TV. I hardly <laughs> have a face for YouTube. But uh, <laughs> that's but, my uh, line. I've got the face for radio, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, tell, tell us about your. Uh, let, let's talk about the uh, the podcast first because you've been doing that the longest, right? 
Yeah, yeah. We actually started doing. It's actually a, a live, uh, a live show, and then of course the podcasts are available on iHeartRadio. But we started doing that. Um, I think it was February seventh. Uh, yeah, February seventh of twenty twenty. And um, you know, it's funny how that how that began because uh, uh, my extent of doing anything on the radio was just commercials for our band. You know, back then. And, um, of course we did, you know, lots of dozens of interviews, but, uh, most of those were probably less than sober, you know? Um, uh, right. so it wasn't like, you know, I really less was like sober. any expert. In rock star life, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Real good, real good career there, buddy. Right. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, and somebody, I don't even know the guy's name. I forget now, but he, he popped into me on, uh, sent me a message on Instagram and said, Hey, have you ever done a radio show before? I said, uh, yeah, sure. No, I mean, no, of course not. You know, and, uh, would you like to? And I go, yeah, sure. Who doesn't want to be a rock star, right? But he said, no, I'm serious. I can, I can hook you up with the station owner. I said, well, uh, okay, you know. And um, at the time, I was working, uh, I was working a government job. I worked for uh, the Illinois Department of Transportation, and um, I think at that point it had been, I don't know, 16 years, something like that. Um, and he set me up with the owner, and before I knew it, I was like okay, I'll do it. You know? And I said, well, um, I can't do that. And this job and I, that other job, that radio thing looks a lot more fun than pushing snowflakes down the interstate. So let's do it. <laughs> and that's how it started. That's how it started. Well, that's cool. We got our first compliment coming across the screen here right now. Yeah. Casey case. Um, well, it, good. I thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's a nice compliment. At least it's not uh, some porn star or something like that. Because somebody said that. You know, hey, it sounds like Ron you know, Jeremy. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. It's it's funny because CW and I were talking earlier and uh, yesterday on the phone and stuff like that, and. Just like, you know, you wanted to kind of know what was going to go on with the show. And I told him, I said, sometimes the show is going to take its own direction. And look, man, we already <laughs> yeah. hit our first fork in the road, right? Yeah, we, we've, already, we've already paved that one. So let's just drive on. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so how, long, how long have you been doing the podcast then? Um, actually, we just celebrated our, our first year anniversary on, um, just see, it was the 10th, the 10th of uh, February. So, yeah, we had our one year anniversary show, which was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed that. And that's on iHeartRadio is where, where people can find that? Yeah, the, the podcasts are on, on iHeartRadio, uh, and they're under podcasts there, um, the camping show. Um, that, you know, and I have to tell you, that show was the first uh, televised show that we did. And, uh, you know, they had tried to talk me into doing some TV like last summer. Uh, and I said, yeah, I don't have a TV show. I don't have anything to put on TV. I mean, uh, that's where people do, you know, they, they know what they're doing. <laughs> and yeah. And I said, you know, if, if I did a TV show, what I'd like to do is something like uh, Tim, the tool man, Taylor, you know, where I'm actually demonstrating some things, you know, sort of the ER room, of course, but, uh, yeah, but nonetheless, we're demonstrating and showing people things. And, uh, I have yet to do that. I, I had planned it, but then it just kind of fell through and it's not going to work out, but, but maybe someday we'll, we'll see. Um, but that just started that whole TV thing was because, I wanted to televise our one year anniversary show. And we were talking about, you know, like zoom and uh, what are some of the other platforms? I think Google was it Google meets or Google chats or something like that. Or... Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm the same age as you. I don't know all this. Yeah. Stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You, and, you, told, and, you told me to get a hold of you on WhatsApp and I go, what, yeah. what, what's that? Right? <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad it's not just me. And by the yeah. way, I have to tell you the coffee thing. You said coffee, and I'm going. When I got back from woodworking school at East Hampton, I said, came back here. And I go, yeah, let's uh, give me a cup of coffee and let's put that through the saw, whatever. And they're going, what? <laughs> and then when I talked to my cousin, who's from uh, not New York, but somewhere, I'm not. I'm trying to think where she's at. Up in uh, by New York. And she says coffee. And so every time I talk to my cousin Donna, she talks like that. And I end up picking that up. So uh, I love it that you, you've got your own way of saying coffee and coffee and yeah. coffee and all that, too. So, um, but yeah, but, but talking about the um, uh, talking about the show um, and I wanted to do this and we were talking about what different mediums or, or platforms or whatever we could use to do the show. And uh, they said, why don't you just do the TV thing? I said, I don't know, you know, and, but they, they did convince me of doing it. So that was our first televised show. And it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was more fun than I expected. <clears throat> we had uh, Kevin Callan, Cliff Jacobson and Darlene Patterson on, and it was, it was just 
it was nonstop fun. It really was. So, I mean, I'm sure you've had shows like that where you go, man, this is just yeah, 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 more fun than I thought it would ever be. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes even more fun is in the green room, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Room. Yeah, we did a little of that, didn't we? <laughs> we we're, we're on air here for two hours, and then we're on, off air for like another three, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I pop into the thing, and I've got like Van Halen or whatever playing in the back. He's like, "What the hell's with this guy?" Yeah, yeah well, we'll get we'll get into that in a minute because yeah. I know it was an interesting story about the first show because you you yeah. wanted to televise it or whatever, and you wanted to put it on YouTube, but. You had your intro music was Van Halen Jump or something. Or uh, it, I think or, it was Dreams. Yeah, or Dream. right, right now or yeah. So yeah, yeah and, then, and then you couldn't put it up because of copyright, right? So yeah, we lost the first episode because of that. Yeah, they, I mean, because you can do that on the radio, and it's a matter of paying B, uh, uh, BMI and ASCAP, and mm-hmm. they do that on the radio. But on YouTube, and and I mean, people knew it, but I guess they didn't tell me, and I guess I knew it too because I had one of my other little uh, Instagram post cut because you could see me, but you couldn't hear me because I had my little radio or whatever going in the background of my boat. And, uh, but you know, the first show went off like, Hey, great. You know, and right after the show, I'm checking, I go, it doesn't look too bad. You know, all of a sudden, um, the next day I get a, uh, an email from the stationery said, yeah, your emails or your uh, show's been blocked. What, what, what for? (laughs) He goes, yeah, right. Copyright, man. You can't put Van Halen on the, you know, and I'm like, really? (laughs) <laughs> so uh we learned quickly i said my call my producer go hey uh we yeah she goes i already know <laughs> i said okay so we got to change this um but yeah right i think at the time we had i had changed it um right around the first couple episodes of the year i think we we replaced dreams with uh right now which mm-hmm. uh yeah which i was at at the time um so yeah we learned the hard way actually and now that you mentioned that the opening theme now is my band who uh, one of my old bands who okay. I co when I was in that band, I co-wrote that song, the song that you hear, it's called, uh, uh, so long is the name of it. And so I thought, well, Hey, um, the copyright there is me. So yeah, my guitar player, original music, right? Yeah. yeah. My guitar player, Eddie. So it's like, why not, man? So, yeah. So, so for, for, so everybody knows, uh, CW is a bit of a, uh, a rock star, right. Uh, or, well, oh, I guess she's still yeah. Oh, she's yeah, still yeah. Play, obviously, right? And it's funny because he's a drummer <laughs> and I'm a drummer and my good friend here, Kevin Callen, he's he's a drummer, right? So I don't know what it is about us outdoorsy guys and like liking to play the drums. I know there's a lot of guitarists too, but yeah, we're anybody different. out there want to see a rock star picture of CW? Put a number one in the chat. <laughs> let's see, let's see. We'll take a vote on this. Yeah, that's me. Like one guy out there or something. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me a really cool uh one of his let's see that ugly dude, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> You know what? Hell, I'm just going to show everybody anyways. You can tell us about that. Yeah, that was... Um, He's the one in the middle, by the way. Yeah, there. thank you. I was just going to you know, like, let everybody know that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I think that was um, that was a show we did um, uh, 2008, it was. And it was a show that was actually local here where I'm from. Um, it's about 100 miles southwest of Chicago. And um, the town was LaSalle, Illinois. And, uh, we had, that group was, we had, it was, a, it was a 20 piece disco corporate band is what it was. And, uh, the two, the two that weren't musicians were those two dancers that you saw, um, it was a really fun band. And I actually had had my hair short for a number of years prior to that. Um, and I just decided, Hey, let's grow the hair up. So I did. And, uh, it actually, I think I had to die a little bit. I think it was starting to be gray. Yeah. Just so, so yeah. you know, there, there's a heck of a lot of number ones in there and a couple drummers and a couple bass, 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 or bass, 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 whichever way you want to read it. Right. Right. <laughs> I, 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 Daniel, Daniel, I think you met fish, right? Bass, bass, bass. So yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And I see D how you doing D thanks for following me. That's cool. Yeah. Glad you like the tank top, man. That's good. Sure. That's good. Oh, so so there, there we go, man. We got right out. We're supposed to be an outdoor show. We're talking about rock star lives, right? That's, but I'll tell you, I, I'd kill what? to have a head of hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to tell you, I would kill to have a head of hair like that now. It all fell out on me. So, yeah. <laughs> Too Deserters. much weight pulling, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, you know, it's funny because um, I look I look at some pictures now I've seen of some, my family in. I'm thinking, okay, uh, they have hair. What happened here? Why did I get cheated on this one? That's not fair. But yeah, it is what it is. 
<laughs> wow. Okay, you'll probably catch me in two years. Show. I'll be bald, right? And, but yeah, I want people to know or like really learn, learn about your show. Uh, yeah. let, let, let's what type of topics did now the, the name of your the, the podcast is the camping show, right? The camping show, yeah. Uh, is the, the TV program going to be the same name? Is it the same? It's, it's the same, yeah. It's absolutely the same, yeah. And they broadcast simultaneously. So if you listen to if you watch it on TV or you could hear it in the radio, it's the same show at the same time, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of uh, live streamers have are starting to do that where they they take the live stream and they'll pull it edit it and then they'll they'll actually put it out as a a, a podcast i've been approached by a couple of people saying why don't you do that and it's like well just like whatsapp i, <laughs> I don't know how to do it man you're making me feel good because i'm thinking i'm the only one that doesn't know a lot of these things and i i, I honestly am a, a, let me see a technological idiot because i don't know a lot of stuff really yeah, yeah, I, 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 now, now I know how my parents felt because when I was younger, they used to come up to me and say, that's true. Like, you put this together, you know, all these wires. And, yeah, no problem. Right. Yeah. Now I, I, I take a wire plug and I look at it and go, the hell is the end of that thing? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Yeah. And I, and honestly, I'm the same way. I, I'm like, I know how my parents felt, you know, and when, when things turn modern, I'm like, hey, I don't know. You know, I'm glad so, they're not doing that with all my camping and canoe gear. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can yeah. figure that all out. So that's, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Yeah. It, it, you know, it, and I tell you something, there have been things that I said, if it takes this much to put this thing together or operate it, I don't want it. I won't need it because I'll, I'll, if the time I'm going to need it, I'll never figure out how to run it. And I can tell you my sat phone is probably the only exception to that rule. I said, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll give myself a little crash course before I go somewhere. I think I'm going to need, may need that thing. So, yeah. Sure. That's the one thing I like about StreamYard software here. It, it's made, it's made for dummies. I, yeah. I can figure this out in a second, right? So my favorite term is, made, people. <laughs> my favorite term is idiot proof. I yeah, love there you go. Idiot proof. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. Yeah. I don't even have to buy the book, you know, StreamYard for dummies. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's that simple, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So yeah. tell, tell us about the show that like, okay, this is the third time I'm going to say this. Tell us about the show. What, what type of topics do you, uh, do you cover on the camping show? Well, when, when I pick out, uh, episodes for the show, you know, I do a lot of, um, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but I do a fair amount of going through looking at, uh, posts, people's posts on Instagram. And, you know, when I, when I see something that strikes me, I say, you know, something, um, I like that. I, I think that's really cool. Now, Granted, I mean, self-admittedly here, I, I live in a bit of a shoebox, okay? Uh, I don't watch the news regularly. Uh, maybe when we have a big event going on, um, I understand there was a pandemic that happened here recently. Uh, but yeah, that sort of thing. I catch the big stuff. Yeah. But, um, you know, when I see something that grabs my attention, I think, you know, I wonder uh, if if my listeners, my followers would would like some to see something like that. Um you know, and I mull it over my brain and eventually I put a message out and say, hey, listen, um, would you like to come on the show? And we could talk about uh, whatever their thing is. And luckily, people have responded uh, positively to uh, I, I, I've not got any negative feedback yet. Now, watch it'll happen. Knock on wood. But um, that's kind of how I come up with episodes. We talk about in fact, and I've got a little list here in front of you don't mind me. Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we've we've had things like um, um, my chef, uh, Tisha Taylor, came on and talked about healthy food choices for camping. Um, we're talk, we talk like with uh, Kevin Calvin, of course, uh, from time to time about wilderness paddling. Um, there have been things about mental health and the connection between that and the outdoors. Um, even when we had uh, Jerry Vandiver and Caitlin Evanson on the show, um, talking about camping music, camping and canoeing music, which they've you know, been on my show. Yeah. They're fantastic. You know, in fact, I think that was the first show that I watched of yours. Oh, is that I, right? thought, I thought that's very cool. You know? Yeah. yeah I, I love that. That was, uh, that yeah. was great. Um, you know, we, we talked about, uh, camp food with Cliff Jacobson. Um, there have been, um, uh, ladies that have come on the show talking about bushcraft for women. Um, you know, and there's, there's actually a couple, uh, really nice programs, great programs up there that I know of in, in Canada that teach women, you know, these skills that, uh, they're like, Hey, I want to learn this stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I need to know this stuff. And I think that's awesome. Yeah. Um, Tori Baird runs a great, uh, canoeing, that's uh, exactly who I was thinking of. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And uh, Karina Alexis is another one who she's, uh, you know, uh, 
very uh, proficient in her uh, bushcraft skills. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we've had fitness trainers on. Um, we've had, uh, we even talk about things like sleeping systems. And I can tell you something, if you've ever spent, and anybody's out there has done any extensive camping, if you've ever spent a miserable night, um, because you were not comfortable in your little sleeping system, the whole rest of the stinking week sucks because you're, you're, you've lost yeah. sleep and you're never going to catch it up. Right? It just, yeah. so that, that was super important. Um, you know, the forest therapy thing like that, uh, the mental health. Um, you know, and then we covered, I actually covered, um, a couple events that I went there and did the show, uh, or did a show live from their facility and Rutabaga Paddle Sports had a boat swap, uh, last, um, September and, um, we did the, uh, quiet adventures symposium. I'm proud of myself that I didn't say quiet waters because they yeah, changed yeah, the, name the name's right. changed, right? I, I can never remember yeah. that. Um, yeah, we did some those kind of things. Um, actually, um, we we did a couple of um, shows with uh, RV RV campers um, that that are full time on the road, and I thought that was extremely cool. And it does fall in the lines of the under the definition of camping. So I thought, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's do that. And those I got to tell you those folks fascinate me of how they make a situation like that work. And you say, well, what do you mean? I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're seeing everything and it's all beautiful and it's new scenery every day or every week and all that kind of stuff. But if you could imagine yourself confined in a, a, uh, uh, 16, 20 foot by what are those things like eight feet wide or something like that with a person, um, 24 seven and 365 days a year, I I'm just like, I don't know how they do it. Yeah, uh, it, the, it'd be t especially when it's raining. Well, we're not going outside, man. So we're here, and yeah, so it becomes a lifestyle for them, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So that, I, I did that. Just fascinates me. We've had two of those on, uh, two of those couples, and um, I, I was really impressed with that. And I, you know, I, I flirted with the idea of doing that and taking the taking my little show on the road. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll think about that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate retirement plan. Hey, that's what my parents keep talking about. Right? right? Yeah. Like, why I not? Both my parents, unfortunate. Yeah. They keep talking of selling their house and buying a motorhome and just traveling. I said, all the power to. Doesn't you. that sound fun. great though? Yeah, absolutely. You yeah, know, no yeah. property taxes. You know, the, I think the worst thing, and you and I talked about this, is the less than perfect internet reception in the rural areas. And uh, that would be one of my biggest concerns as I get out there, I'm going to do a show and okay, I've got like less than wonderful uh, uh, internet. So, you know, and that's, that's never cool when you yeah. kicked off the air. I know because I've had it happen. <laughs> I kicked off my own show. It's like, okay, I'm trying to get back in. Now. <laughs> Hello. What's wrong with this picture? Yeah. <laughs> right. So basically your, 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 uh, your podcast or your, your show is basically geared Everything camping, right? Uh, it doesn't matter if it's uh, car camping, RV camping, backcountry camping. Well, I try to. You know, yeah. I try to. I, I mean, there have been episodes, and I waited for somebody to say, you know, what are you talking about? Um, what are you talking about music for? What are you talking about fitness for? Or even, you know, even some of the uh, mental health things. Um, and I, it's a little bit of a stretch, but I have to tell you, it's all either about something outdoors or or specifically camping, you know, um, I tried to focus everything around camping, but you know, it, it it's, it's tough because, you know, you find yourself, you're going to, you know, you're going to be repeating some things and talking about how many, how many episodes can we talk about, uh, camp knives and hatchets and, and, uh, paddles and things like that. You have to be creative as I'm sure, you know, and the thing is it all relates, it all relates to being in outdoors. Um, I think this year has been an exceptional challenge for most people um you know being on these lockdowns and that sort of thing uh we, we need to talk about mental health because i mean it's important um it's an easy way to get depressed and you know if if there's something that can help with that sort of situation your depression let's get you outside let's get some fresh air let's get some different scenery um let's talk about it you know, it's outdoorsy. Let's talk about it. Doesn't specifically involve camping, but um, again, it's in the same wheelhouse, I think. Sure, sure. I want to ask you about what your your very first show that you ever put out. Um, 
<laughs> was a successor. Of Why are we both laughing? Because we know what that. Because <laughs> I know how mine went. Actually, my my first show was like off the cuff because yeah, the guest I had on a uh, good long time YouTube buddy Steinorth. Uh, he, I said, "Hey, Stein!" They're like right in the middle of the show, I go, "You want to be my guinea pig? We'll we'll run this like it's going to be the show that the idea, the concept I had." And you know what? Right. It turned out to be pretty good. And then it's just taken. It's been rolling, rolling, right? So, yeah. But what was your first show like? Well, it was probably about the same way. I mean, the first show that I did, um, in fact, you know what? I have that note right in front. It says, all things camping was the, what I titled it. That was real clever, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, it, it was the first show, the first time I'd ever been on the air for that length of time. And uh, it, it seemed like, by the way, eternity, because it was, I mean, it's a 50 minute show what we do. And that particular show, it like, you know, most of them, except you know, when I got Jesse and we're going to talk about that, I'm sure in a minute, but mm -hmm. I flew solo, you know, now first time I'm ever being on the radio uh, in that type of situation. And I'm by myself and I didn't really script anything. I just had a couple of notes there, a little outline that I said, okay, I'll talk about this, that, and the other thing. Um, and, and I actually had, I was very nervous, very nervous. And I remember my producer saying, look, you know, if you get in trouble, I'll jump in there and I'll, you know, comment with you. Uh, the, the show, the first show I had, I had a number of people that chimed in. Hey, is this a new show? And, and, uh, what is this name of this show? What is this about? Is this, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I know but, it's, called, it's called the camping show. There yeah. Go. We got through that. Um, and the producer pretty much had to say, uh, yeah, you want to maybe tell the people this and you want to tell them that and you want to explain this. I'm like, I, and it was, I just felt like, yep, yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm a big idiot here, you know, but, uh, uh, you get through your first anything. And I think it, it just gives you a reference point later on of, well, you have to start somewhere. And, uh, and that's exactly how it went. You know, it was kind of like a, um, kind of like a first time show. <laughs> it really yeah, was. Yeah. <laughs> right, the reason why I asked that, asked that question is like that, because like, you know, I kind of have my own unique experience and, and Hey, it, it's new, right? We, Absolutely. you know, you, you get on there and you're tripping over your tongue and all of a sudden you get nervous because yes, very much. Now, so. now you think you're not putting out just a live stream, but you're putting out a live stream that you're expecting people to watch. And it's like, now the pressure's on, right? So yeah, there's that. And the fact that I knew it was going to be recorded was the worst thing because I go, so people are <laughs> going to play this over and over and over again. And they're going to say, wow, this guy really is a dope, you know, on the air. he yeah. may know what he's talking about, but he sounds like an idiot. So yeah, I, yeah, you know, I, the whole thing just made me nervous, you know, and, and there were even episodes, um, you know, I went through a couple of weeks there where, where I was extreme, like I got this anxiety thing going on before a couple of episodes. You ever have that, Dennis? Uh, like, a couple of times with a couple of guests that yeah. I kind of starstruck with, uh, <laughs> right. you know, like what, when I interviewed Joe Robinette, uh, about a month and maybe five, six weeks ago when I interviewed Hap Wilson, who I've like idolized because like, yeah, Hap is you cool. know, I, yeah, a few, a few people have, have kind of put me at that edge where it's like, you got the butterflies. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah you get the humana, humana, humanas. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, it, and now I'm a little more relaxed in the air. I'm a lot more relaxed and it's just like, you know, you're just having a conversation and that's, yeah. you know, you get there, you don't start there, but you get there hopefully. Yeah. So here, here's the, here's a loaded question. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever had a guest that backed out just before your show started? Oh my God. You know something that's funny. You, you asked that because <laughs> Jesse and I talked about that. I had thought about that. <laughs> uh, a long time ago. And I thought, okay, what happens if this occurs? And my producer said, well, you can do a couple different things. We can have a conversation, you and I, and I go, well, what the hell are we going to talk about? And, you know, and I guess the other thing was, well, we can just uh, pop into a, uh, a rerun or something like that of one of your previous shows. I said, okay, well, we'll see. Now, knock on wood, um, that hasn't happened yet. I'm sure it will. Um, Jesse and I talked about it. Well, let's just tell camping stories and we'll tell, uh, we'll tell some funny stories of stupid things that have happened to both of us, but I have not to date again, knock on wood, had that happen. Um, that has to be a really weird situation. Have you ever had it happen to yourself? I I've had it happen twice where <laughs> like, you know, it was uh, one was one, one I had about a day and a half notice and another one was like a day's notice. Right. Yeah, and I was very, very fortunate that uh, like Ke Kevin Callan has has been on the show many, many times, and all I all I got to do is if he's not got anything going on, I can reach out to Kevin, and he's there, like you know. Yeah. 
No problem. Thank You've, you very much, Kevin. I know you're in the chat. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, but every time I, I always mention, I go, yeah, I was kind of stuck. And he goes, oh, he goes off on a tangent. Right? <laughs> you know, my biggest <laughs> fear. You feel bad, right? Like, oh, yeah, right, you right, right. Bad enough, but, yeah. This is what I need, Kev. Thank you. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, what my fear was, even if I had a day ahead of time, we can always play a rerun, I'm told. But um, the thing is, I I always fear 15 minutes before the show, because that's usually when you have your guests come, you know, that nobody shows up. Mm -hmm. That would be my biggest fear. I'm like, OK, now what do we do? Oh, yeah. my God. You know, I think the first thing I'd do is go crack a Heineken and, and go, yeah, OK, yeah. this is how I'm going to start this show. <laughs> yeah, start the show very relaxed. Right? Yeah, <laughs> you, you know I, what I what I do, and I don't, I don't know if you do the same thing, but I always strive to try and have a guest on the show. Yeah, right? that, absolutely. That's, that's my ultimate goal is to have somebody. But then I have all topic think like mm -hmm. topic ideas that I can if I because sometimes you just can't find a guest, right? Or you 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 could be trying to get a particular person on a show, and you could be chasing that person. I, I say chasing loosely because I don't chase people, sure, but, sure. but you know what I mean? Trying to get them on yeah. a show and they, they, they'll they string you along and they'll string you along. And then all of a sudden they go, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like victory, right? Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, absolutely. But there, there's been, there's been instances where, uh, and that, that's why I always ask my viewers that if they have somebody they'd like to see on the show, and it's really important to, to the show that if you have somebody you'd like to see or a topic you'd like us to cover, it gives us the ability to go out there because I don't know everybody out there. You yeah. know what I mean? And I want to try and have a, a far reach to, to try and bring the best content I can to those that are privileging me with their presence in the, in the chat over here. Right. And Absolutely. If, if somebody backs out last second, it, it really puts the brakes on. And I, I've had those instances in all honesty, I've had those instances where I told my wife and said, I don't know if I can have a show this week. I might just like, put a notice up on Facebook, sorry, due to unforeseen yeah. reasons or whatever. Yeah. Right. But totally. I always try to, I always try to make sure something comes through and that's why I got a list of topics like this. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You, you, you almost have to really prepare. I, and honestly, I got to tell you, I'm not, if that happened, I would be, we would just pull a rabbit out of our head or something. And, and yeah. I probably should have that, but I don't, um, I don't think, I think a lot of people, may not realize that, that, but there's a little stress that goes with that, uh, along with that territory. When you have a live show, you know, you can't, you can't just, well, here's the other thing. First of all, when you have a live show, you're not editing anything. Um, you're, it is what it is. And if your guest doesn't show up, you're out there flying solo, man, by the seat of your pants, or in your case, you're prepared. Um, but yeah, it, it's one of those things where podcasters can, go back and edit we can record this at our leisure whatever live show is a live show and you're scheduled and you and you have to be there yep you know so uh, yeah it's, it's a whole different animal really yeah and aside from my off season there's not too many shows that i i miss you know unless i'm going away on a, a, a you know a camping trip or something i'll i'll always give people good notice saying sorry man <laughs> i'm going for ice out or whatever right, right. So, absolutely yeah absolutely yeah. you gotta have a life too right yeah but i must say honestly i i do uh i've got a, a very good strong core of followers, uh, regulars to the show. You guys are so greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. And uh, you know what? It makes it makes doing this type of thing more fun for us, right? A absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, there's there are people that, um, when we were just talking about this here a day or two ago, it, you know, there's, um, you know, you can, you can do the kind of work where you can make a lot of money and you can plan for retirement and uh, maybe you won't make it. Um, you can make a lot of money in your job and you can buy a lot of cool toys and maybe you're still not happy, but doing something that you truly enjoy, no matter what it pays or doesn't pay, you know, how well it pays or how well it doesn't pay is in my opinion, truly where it's at. Um, mm -hmm. you can't take the money with you. We all know that, but you know, quality of life. Um, that's the reason we do what we do outdoors. It, it's yeah. just, it's the quality of life thing. And then there's really nothing like it. Um, you know, that, that's the sort of thing. That's why, um, I, I'd I would love to do this as long as I can, because I truly enjoy it. And I know you do too. Yeah. Um, you know, if you can't be outdoors, let's talk about outdoors, you know? So yeah, it's just a, really an extension of that. Yeah. So uh, let's, let's get back. <laughs> let's get back to the show. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, tell me about a couple of your, uh, your most memorable. Now I, I know, Cliff Jacobson is kind of like a regular to you, right? Yeah, J Cliff is a frequent flyer on our, on my show. You know, it's yeah. it's, it, and I always tell him there's a reason for that. You know, yeah. he's he's 
I call him the Eddie Van Halen of the canoe world. You know, he's just yeah, he knows the stuff, right? He's the man. He is the yeah. man. Yeah. Um, I, okay. What was your question again? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm I, I sidetrack you. I'm sorry. So it was like, what, what are some some of the most memorable moments that you've had on your show? Uh, whether guest or topic or something that's gone really good or something that's gone really bad. Well, I'll tell you what. One of my favorite episodes. There, there, there are many uh, great guests I've had on my show. I mean, really. Um, a couple that stand out to me. Uh, the first one was uh, again the Jerry Vandiver and Caitlin Evanson uh, show, just because um, I guess it's the way I met. Um, well, I had met Jerry before him, but it was kind of the way I met Caitlin. But um, the whole music thing was very cool, and I can you know really identify with with that uh, the music as well as the outdoor aspect of uh, both of them. Um, that that was a really fun show, and uh, Caitlin talked about her years with. Um, Taylor Swift. And that was uh, a show snafu, if you will. And mm -hmm. that was a really great story, but I really enjoyed that, that episode. Um, and those guys, another, another one um, was I had my, my pop on the show and there's a little story about that. If, if you, if you'd like to hear it. Yeah, sure. Um, but I, but I, first I'll just tell you, I had my pop on the show. He talked about uh, training and fitness and a lot of people um, and I used to do this when I would go on, when I would start the season and I'm going to do a try, I got a big trip coming up and I'm telling you, I'm either pulling something or spraying something or whatever, because, or whatever, and, and just sore the next, the, the second day, because I'm, I wasn't in shape. And, and there really is a degree of, of fitness, uh, training, if you will, that's involved, uh, should be involved before you start these trips and you're lifting and toting and moving things around and pushing and pulling. Mm -hmm. And so I got pop on the show to talk about that. And, um, the, the really unique thing about that was that my, uh, my father was a, uh, uh, a world famous bodybuilder back in the 1960s. And, um, his, um, his stage name was Steve Reno. And it's amazing how many places that I've been, um, you know, just, I mean, in different parts of the world and they know him. I'm like, that just blows my mind. Um, in fact, he and Arnold Schwarzenegger used to work out together when Arnold came here from Austria, they were in their twenties and they used to work out together and actually they competed together. And, uh, Lou Ferrigno was another one they used to work out with, but, um, he's, he's really a super guy and he really knows his stuff and he's trained some, He's trained a lot of famous people uh, in the day, back in the day. And I wanted to have him on the show. And then it really meant a lot that I could have him there. He was rather nervous about being on the show. My brother and my sisters were nervous about having him on the show. But it came off great. And he was a champ. And uh, that was extremely memorable uh, for me. Um, and, I, and I think the other shows were people that have... Um, people that have stories that really, um, that really touch you emotionally. Um, th there were, have been a few of those. And I'll tell you, um, some of the, some of the people that are the most accomplished have some of the deepest stories. I, I don't know if you you've experienced that or not, but it, it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and what they've overcome to, you know, uh, come to be what they are. But yeah, those are, those are kind of my most memorable shows. Um, just for sentimental reasons, you know, um, but they're all a lot of fun. I always try to have a lot of fun with people. And sometimes I, you know, get a little silly or whatever. You probably haven't noticed that, but, um, you know, I, I do so to keep things on the lighter side. And, sure. You know, um, well, if you're all serious, uh, it'd be, it'd be like listening to an investment show or something, right? <laughs> <An investment. laughs> Who wants to listen to an hour of that, right? Those will put you to sleep. You know, another one was Bob Ross when I used to watch him paint, you know, <laughs> Yeah, before you, I come I'm, on tonight, there I, for some reason, I love the guy. My, uh, my YouTube feed eh, is like one of the Bob Ross tiles. Eh? It's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, he's great, man, but yeah. he will put you to sleep. He's just got that soothing. Yeah, but yeah, I, I try to make, I try to look at things that you know. My my whole thing is, I enjoy laughing. I enjoy humor. I always have. Yeah, and I guess you know, I try to in 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 inject that or insert that um, where I can when it's appropriate. Sometimes when it's not, then I'm, you know, put your foot yeah. in your mouth. But um, 
to me, that's what makes an interesting show. And I know you do that. And and I, I totally appreciate that about your show. You know, you, you throw some humor in there where it's, where it needs it and where it's, you know, validated or warranted. Oh, you so, have to, people yeah. want to laugh, you know, especially during, during this pandemic, you know, everybody has seriousness all day, every day at work, if they're going to work or being in that's a right. lockdown and stuff like that. But, you know, it, it's kind of a, a nice uh, relief. I only like mentioning that C word here on the show because it, it's like a two hour <laughs> escape that you don't come on here and you don't even have to talk or think about it. Right. It's like, uh, just carry on with our day. Right. So, yeah, there were shows that I know people were bringing that up and, and it was like, yeah, let's just, you know, let's not dwell on that. In fact, you know, it's funny because the station owner told me, he said, you know, uh, I had someone that, that actually specifically, and, and they really weren't even getting really crazy with it, but they had talked about it, uh, mentioned it a couple of times. And, uh, I forget who it was, uh, pulled the episode, uh, mm-hmm. it was like the FCC or something like that. I was like, wow. And so, yeah. Yeah, enough serious stuff in the world. You know, yeah. let's let's look at things in a in a lighter sort of way. Yeah, and you know, and you know, when we're talking about things like act safety, uh, you know, that's not funny. So you yeah. can't do it there. There are times you have to be serious, and and uh, you know, we're trying to teach people things and or show them things and um, expose them to things, but it doesn't have to be surgery serious all the time. That's you know. right. Yeah. Well, you know what? You can put lighter, lighter side into it for sure. Absolutely. So now you, you had mentioned uh, when you first started your, your, the camping show that uh, you were flying solo. Nowadays you have a coho. I do. You freeze up. Yeah. I think I lost you there for a second. Okay. Uh, yeah. It I, could be I, you freezing up. Could be me freezing up. I still okay. have internet issues. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Don't feel like the Lone Ranger. I got that over here too. So, <laughs> but I, I was asking. So now when you started your show, you started solo and now you have a co-host, uh, Jesse Free. Right. Correct. Right. Yeah. What can you tell us about Jesse? Well, um, I'll, I'll tell you how you want to hear how we met. It's kind of interesting. Sure. Uh, yeah. We were paddling a river one afternoon, a local river. And um, we, in fact, I was given someone, she called it a canoe lesson, and I just said, yeah, I'm just taking you out and showing, showing you some things because you want to learn. And we came upon these two young ladies, and I happened to notice they had the coolest cup holders hanging out the side of their canoe, man. And I'm like, I have never seen one like that before. That's cool. I want to I want to know where to get those. Yeah. So we paddled up to them, and um, they were having some refreshments in a great old time. And uh I just asked, hey, where'd you get those cup holders? Oh, we got those on uh, in Amazon, you know, and they're the the whirly gig something or another's. And I'm like, okay, and they're really cool. Send me a link to that. Can you do that? Here's my number. So she did. And um, uh, she was extremely funny and she was very social and she was, you know, and I, I thought, you know, that that she's cool. I enjoyed talking with her. And uh, so she just kind of stood out, her personality. And then the issue of um, getting a co-host, having a co-host on the show was presented to me. And I said, oh, yeah, you know, that would be cool. That would be fun. Never thought about that. And I tried to think who, you know, who might fit that bill, who would be a good co-host, because that's just, you don't just want to throw somebody, you know, anybody on the air with you. It would be, uh, it could be uncomfortable and awkward, but I shot a text to this young lady and, uh, uh, her her boyfriend told later told me, "Hey, Jess, this is right down your alley. This would be perfect for you." And uh, and I was surprised because she responded like, "Yeah, I think it sounds great. Let's talk about it." And so that's kind of how that got started. Um, she's a wonderful co-host. Uh, I I mean, I just can't say enough good about her. She's got the right personality. Uh, I think she's got a great voice. Um, she's you know she's she's really she thinks about things and has great ideas. You know, not <clears throat> rather than just going through the motions, she's really, she's into it. And I really appreciate that about her. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So who, does she come up with a, a lot of the concepts of the show as well? Or did, like, is it, who, who seeks out your guests or your topics for the show? Is it solely yourself or do you, do you work as a team with that? You know, we, we collaborate on ideas and then I, I'm usually in a, the one who's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, surfing the, uh, if you will, the uh, Instagram. And that's mostly where I find, you know, ideas for the show. Some Facebook, but mostly Instagram. Um, that's, that's myself who does that. Um, once I, once I connect with them, then we, you know, we talk a little bit and we put together the show, uh, you know, questions and, you know, kind of a focus, what we're going to do. And then of course, like I said, the, the content, um, but Jesse will 
say, how about if we change this? How about if we ask it this way? Or, um, you know, maybe you ask them this or whatever. And so we, we have a bit of a, uh, a combined effort there when it comes to putting the episodes together. Mm-hmm. And I told Jesse, I said, look, you got the freedom to do quite a bit. Um, I'm all ears. You know, if you've got a great idea, let me know. We will, I, I will tell her, say, Hey, look, here's the questions we're going to ask you arrange them. You know, if you want to arrange them differently, in different order, that's fine. Um, tell me what questions you want to field and tell me which ones you want me to field. And so she does that. So uh, I, I really like the job she does. She does a great job. Cool. A lot it's of too bad we couldn't have had her on the show tonight. Uh, I, know. Yeah, I know she's got yeah. some, she's a teacher. She's a full-time uh, elementary teacher and she's got quite a full plate. So she couldn't, uh, she couldn't join us tonight, but yeah, that would have been great. Yeah. So I, I wanted to ask too about, uh, when you're, you, you you're doing your show. You said you said that you're on iHeartRadio. Is there a reason why you're not on like you know Spotify or iTunes or whatever the other platforms that are available for podcasts? You know, I I don't know a lot about that sort of stuff. You know, um, that's the shoebox thing in me again. Um, but the radio station that uh, W4CY said, here's where we, um, you know, here's how this works. Here's how this works, and we post your podcasts on uh, iHeartRadio and I said, oh, okay. You know, cause at the time I knew nothing. I mean, mm-hmm. I honestly, you know, I'm like, okay, talk to me like I'm four. Cause I don't know what's going on here. And I really, um, really didn't have any idea of what was out there or how this stuff worked or any of that sort of thing. So that was kind right. of taken care for me. Yeah. Okay. And so now just so everybody in the chat knows that if you, if you want more information on uh, CW's uh, podcast and uh, TV show, uh, which isn't only aired on YouTube, right? There's actually a TV station that carries your show. Yeah. And you know what? Here, here we go again. I'm not exactly sure how all that works, but I know that uh, they broadcast. Um, you can see that the broadcast on, I, I, there's like four or five, six, seven different places. Um, and, I, and I should know this, but I know they also have their own YouTube channel, as do I. CW Gets Outdoors. And then my and then my Facebook um, CW gets outdoors. It it uh, airs there as well, broadcast there as well. I think that's you do the same thing, don't you? With the Facebook, yeah, and you, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I, I I I'm only on Facebook and on YouTube. I, I don't yeah. do a podcast. I what I was thinking about learning it. I, I don't know if people would like to see or hear this program, an edited version yeah. of the program on a, a podcast. I've had a few people reach out and say, you know what, love to listen to you on the way to work or whatever. You know, I don't know yeah, why a not chance to make it to the show. Or, Absolutely, and they, they like to listen. So, uh, I, I think you should do I'll, that, man. I seriously think you should do that. Friends, maybe, maybe uh, my good friends over at Paddling Adventures Radio, Sean and uh, Derek, wouldn't mind giving me a couple pointers as yeah. long as I, I wouldn't be stepping on their toes. But uh, you know, yeah. they're they're good guys. I'm sure they'd coach me along a little bit. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. No, I think you should do that. That would be very cool. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things, um, one of the things that I, you know, I, about having a co-host is you have to learn how to not walk all over each other. And that, that was kind of a challenge for me because I had been used to being, you know, flying solo as it were, but, uh, Jesse was very patient with me and, uh, saved my butt several times when I would forget to do something of that. But, but the having a co-host has really been, uh, really added a lot to the show, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, Kevin there, Kevin Callen just posted your, uh, the link to your podcast in the chat. Oh, nice. Um, also everybody just, uh, that, that's what I was alluding to is actually in the description of the video here. Now, this is the first time I've ever had that many links, <laughs> <laughs> anybody's social media and stuff like that. CW sent me oh. like a list of maybe like 10 or so links, eh? but they're all links to his, uh, his Instagram, his Facebook, his uh, podcast, to the TV, to uh, the, the YouTube channel. So if anybody wants to actually tune in on his program, uh, you know, what, what, when do you air? What, uh, what, what's your, your night? It's actually Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Central. So 6 cool. o'clock Eastern. Yep. There. So everybody's got something to do tomorrow night if you have nothing to do tomorrow night, right? And that, that's the whole the whole premise of bringing these shows. I have no, no problem working with uh, – 
you know, other podcasts or live streamers and stuff like that. It's uh, it's about bringing content, you know, and it's, it's, it's part of, and everybody keeps saying this to me, it, it, I'm bringing the community, the community together. And this is just extending our community and bringing our community together all that much more. So yeah. like, you know, I, I've had the guys from paddling adventures radio on uh, in two weeks, I've got another couple of uh, podcasters, live streamers, uh, uh, John and Jer uh, Jeremiah from the uh, the hiking podcast. Not oh, yeah, sure if yeah. you've ever heard of them, but uh, they they've got a really good thing going. They they run on Monday nights, and I'm actually uh, I've been really in tune with their live streams on Monday nights. Gives me something to do when I'm not just surfing YouTube, right? So sure, right. I met yeah. those guys, the paddling adventures guys at um, Quiet Quiet Adventure last year. Those guys are cool. I like yeah, them a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, they're they're good guys. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've met uh, Sean and Derek uh, a few times. I actually run into uh, Derek winter camping last year at the last couple of days up in Algonquin park before they closed the park due to the pandemic. Oh, cool. So that, he, he happened cool. to be camped right behind me and my buddies. And we didn't even know <laughs> until, uh, I, I did a post and then Sean, uh, Sean Rowley says, uh, to Derek, he says, Hey, uh, Dennis Rogers is over there camping by you. He says, go look for him, right? Sure, sure enough, we were like kitty cornered each other. See, you got rock stars in one park at the same time, man. How cool uh, is that, lake, right? Yeah, New Lake's full of us uh, <laughs> heads out uh, in the wintertime, right? That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so where was I here? Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. So the, how, did, how did it come about with, you mentioned earlier how it came about with the, the TV show. How was that working yeah. out? Like, this is really new to you now. You're only a couple episodes in. Yeah, I think, uh, I think is it all, will, is it all oh, self shot? Like you're shooting all this yourself. You know what? <clears throat> I, on the show, I am just as I am before you I'm just using the the mic on my, uh, my laptop and that's all it is. It's, it's nothing elaborate at all. Funny thing is they said, here's the camera you should use. If you want to look super sharp. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. My internet won't even think about handling that camera. Right. <laughs> so no, I said, they'll just use the camera on my laptop. Um, I think this is going to be our fourth episode with uh, on on the the television side of things. Um, it's been fun. I enjoy it. You know, I, I'm just getting used to this whole idea. Um, you know, just talking with somebody and seeing them at the same time because that's unusual for me. Usually, like doing the radio thing, you know, and and you don't see them, and uh, uh, you know, they don't see how crappy I look. And now I actually, you know, I have to comb my hair, you know, and all that kind of good stuff. You know, <laughs> shave. You know. No longer a face for radio, right? Yeah, I can't be a bum anymore. It's like, you know, no, it's under pressure. I'm under pressure. So um, it, it's different. And I know, you know, Jesse has said, well, you know, I when I come home from work, I really, you know, now I need to pay attention to how I look. And, and the same is true with me. You know, I have to, uh, you don't want to look too bad, you know, but uh, mm -hmm. Uh, it's different. I mean, I'm getting used to it. Um, I like it. I think, you know, this whole visual thing is really um, where it's at now. You know, pardon the cliche, but, uh, uh, you know, the radio thing is cool. I know a lot of people, like you said, they like to listen to it on the way to work or the way home from work or whatever. Um, but I do think there's a significant amount of interest in watching stuff, you know, mm -hmm. the visual side of it. So, yeah. 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 So I don't, I don't like asking personal questions when it comes to the show. I, I like to talk about the topic at hand, but just, I don't know. You, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but do you, do you have a, uh, another I'm job besides what you're doing with the broadcast? I was going to say, I was curious to work. What, what question could he ask me that I've not been asked before? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> no, do, do you have, do you have a job outside of, of what you actually do here? No, this is, this is actually what I do full time. And I'll tell you something. Um, people have said, uh, well, you're crazy. Why did you do that? Um, I worked for the Illinois Department of Transportation for uh, a total of 19, 19 seasons, um, actually um, 17 pushing snowflakes, S plowing snow, sorry, uh, you know, lingo talk there. But, um, you know, I kind of had, I couldn't do the show, the time slot that they had for me and, and do a full-time job like that, uh, or at least that job. And I said, you know, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to try and, and make this uh, make this to the point where it's uh, not only can I survive, but it could maybe hopefully be profitable. It's what you always shoot for, right? You strive for. Um, but this is my only gig, as it were, so far. So 
Okay. Because I, how much, how much time do you actually put into preparing a, a weekly show? A uh, ten minutes or so, you know, something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I want to know your tricks. I want one of your magic wands. Yeah, right. Ah, uh, well, quite, quite honestly, uh, it depends on how many Heineken I had, right? Um, you know, honestly. It, it takes a little more time than most people probably think. You know, you have a list of questions and they, well, what does that take? You know, you just bam, 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 20 minutes, you got your show, right? Not quite that simple as uh, you, well, you know, obviously no. Um, you know, that, that whole thing you can spend, it, it just depends what you're doing. I mean, some shows take a little longer to prepare for than others and you do some research. I mean, you kind of have to, yeah. um, in order to know what, you know, the uh, pertinent questions, you know, that sort of thing. But I can tell you, um, if I'm not preparing for the show, which I would say takes me roughly maybe between eight hours and 12 hours or something, just depending on what I'm doing. And you say, that's a long time. Well, mm -hmm. some of that time is actually sat thinking I'm not writing or typing the whole time or surfing on, you know, looking for information on the, on the Internet. Um, if I'm not doing that, I'm either paying some bills or I'm I'm you know, putting together or thinking about uh, future shows or we're planning an event, we're planning a trip, we're, um, you know, doing taxes, which I just did last week, you know, that sort of, there's always something yeah. to do here. And honestly, I always thought, you know, well, hey, you could do this. Uh, my dad here, uh, my adoptive dad, I, by the way, that's a whole other story, but I said, uh, you yeah, know, why don't you just do, uh, why don't you do that on the side? Why don't you do that on the side? And it wasn't really referring to this, but um, you know, it's, it, it's, everything looks good on paper. It all sounds good. Yeah. We'll do it on the side, but I'm going to tell you, if you want to yeah. do a good job, uh, a great job at something, it, you would take 24 seven to do that. You can't, you can't really give it your all if you're doing something on the side. So that's, that's just the school I'm from and, and my experience, you know, it, it does, it does take up a lot of time. Eh? just trying to contact people. I, I know when I first started doing all this stuff, it was like, you know, I, I could whoop up a show and like day before type of thing, right? Aside from trying to find people to be on a show. And it seems now the further it gets in, I'm almost like, man, I'd love to hire somebody. I know, right? <laughs> to free up <laughs> yeah. some time, right? Because yeah. uh, it's, a, it's a good thing uh, I, I I have my own gig. Like I, I'm a business owner, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, good thing we're kind of in the sea time, right? Sure. Because I, I have a little more time to kill at the shop because things are a little slower right now. Mm -hmm. But my wife will walk in my office and go, oh, working hard, I see. Because <laughs> I'm working on the show, eh? whether I'm researching uh, Thanks, a, chat, yeah. <laughs> a future guest, uh, watching them on YouTube or checking right. them out or you know, preparing for the show, doing thumbnails. It, it, it's, it's getting to be quite a handful, right? And it's like I, I'd like to make that next step up to the really big YouTuber where they actually do have somebody in the background clicking the mouse and, and doing stuff like that, right? Yeah, you know, when you get General Motors to be one of your sponsors, that's how that works, right? Yeah, you know, you can hire people. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, and, and a lot of people say, well, that must be cool, man. You know, fun. You just talk on the radio and well, wouldn't that be easy? You know, and, agree. And, and it is fun. There are aspects of this that are really are fun and, and yeah. uh, fulfilling. But, you know, there are times that, you know, you get frustrated there's, it's, and it's hard work. It mm -hmm. really is, you know. And there's, a, as we talked just earlier about this, you know, what happens if you have a catastrophe and your guest doesn't show up? I mean, you know, you're, you put yourself out there, you know. Plan B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grab the Heineken, man, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I noticed one of our, our viewers uh, had in the chat here a little while ago, I believe it was uh, Richard, saying, uh, do we have any policy on drinking on air here? <laughs> well, you know what, people, I say, if you got them, track them, and let's there enjoy them, because we're going to get into the second half of the show here. Uh, we're just going to set up now for, yeah, cheers to Cheers. You. That's right. Yeah, he's, he's toasting us, everybody, with an empty Heineken bottle. Yeah, you know, I or ran my... a little water, man. Make it look good, right? <laughs> you know, I probably could have done that. You know, the thing is, I finished my last Heineken last night, and I said, uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm not going to go out and get any more. I, that would be stupid. But... I was in I was in town today and I could have got some and I I failed to and now I feel like an idiot because I, I would have had something to cheer with you know some real yeah. deal, apologize for that Dennis you'll you'll have to maybe get into the top shelf stuff right <laughs> get into yeah, high the, 
Let's see. The top shelf stuff here is milk. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> top shelf for my refrigerator. <laughs> awesome. Well, you know what? Okay, so I'm going to get into uh, my swag giveaway here, and then I'm going yeah. to open the chat up to see if anybody would like to join us for a couple minutes to yeah. uh, ask a few questions or anything like that. Um, I'll, I'll put you. I'm going to put you in the green room for a few minutes so I can go full screen. Absolutely. Oh, good time to go for a pee break or whatever. Us old guys got to do that sometimes. <laughs> and uh, I'll have you back up in a minute, CW. Sounds great. Thanks. All right, everybody. Hope everybody's enjoying the show so far. Uh, CW's a really, really good guy. Uh, he's got a really cool podcast and a, a great uh, uh, YouTube channel that he's really building on now. Um, I encourage everybody to check it out. You know, if you're looking for more great outdoor content, uh, he's definitely uh, somebody that you want to check out and follow. I'm just going to throw the uh, the link into the chat right now. Uh, if anybody would like to join us on panel here after uh, the swag giveaway, Let's see here. Where are we? Eh, post and hit chat. And there we go. It's coming at you now. If anybody would like to uh, pop up on screen and uh, ask any questions to CW or myself, or, you know, you might have a story to share or maybe a favorite episode of CWs that uh, you'd like to share with everybody, please do come on up. Don't be shy. All you need is a webcam and a microphone on your uh, laptop or computer. You could even use your cell phone. If you do, Try to use it in this orientation so that, uh, yeah, I got the stickers everywhere, right? Uh, so you, you got the, the, to fill the screen up. But, uh, yeah, please come on up and join us. Anyways, uh, tonight's swag giveaway. Uh, just like last week, I'm going to give away two sets like uh, like I did last week. Uh, what's up for grab? Canoe Hound Adventures prize pack, which is going to be a couple of patches and a, uh, a decal pack that, you know, you can stick these on pretty much anything, any smooth, smooth, hard surface. And then, of course, a couple goodies from uh, Algonquin Outfitters, uh, stickers and uh, a voucher or two for free rental or some uh, some money, money off of a rental there at, uh, at Algonquin Outfitters. And tonight's question, and please do not put the answer in the chat. That would be greatly appreciated if you could just email me your answer, if I could find the right button here once again. Here again, see, I need I need a producer here. Uh, let's see. You can email your answers to coasprize at gmail.com by Saturday at 11. At what time? At that time, I will uh, do a draw on Sunday and I will notify the winners and then we'll get your prizes out in the mail. And tonight's question is, if you've been paying attention, what is the name of CW Gets radio podcast and TV show? Okay. If you're not sure, or not sure, it's in the thumbnail of the show. It's also been mentioned a bunch of times throughout the live stream. Just email me the answer to uh, coasprize at gmail.com. I'll leave that going across the bottom there for a few minutes, and uh, then we'll, we'll drop it off screen. So once again, what is the name of CW Gets? Radio, podcast, and television show. There we go. So let's uh, I think CW is ready in the green room there. You ready? Give me a wave in the green room. He's ready, and let's bring him back up. Let's finish the night out here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. If I disappear off screen or I put you full screen, you know I'm going to do the same thing. So that's all good. We'll just put the Van Halen <laughs> on it or something. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have a little party. <laughs> Anyways, like I say, if anybody would like to pop up and ask a question to CW or myself, uh, just curious uh, as to how many people in the chat are familiar with uh, CW's programs. Uh, if you're if you're familiar with this program, throw a one into the chat just so we can see uh, how many people are familiar with it. Yeah. So how far ahead are you actually uh, booked right now as far as uh, guests or topics for the show? Do you keep a, uh, are you booked fairly far ahead or? Yeah, I think um, uh, we're actually booking in May. Now, I think I have one date open at the end of uh, second to last week in April. And then, uh, then it'll be, we're booking into May. In fact, I've got a couple of, a uh, couple of shows that I'm, um, just need to put together and that'll, those will be my first two weeks in May. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been fortunate that way. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I do remember, you know, I do remember going, okay, I got to get some shows going cause I'm going to run out of people here. <laughs> and you know, that was when I first started this and, uh, that's a little scary, you know, like you said, it's yeah. yeah. Sorry if you see me looking down here, I'm just, uh, it's all good. Chat. I've been doing that the whole show. I'm looking off my notes and cheating a little here, you know, <laughs> um, what was the, I had something that just popped into my head and I was going to ask you and just because I, I seen a squirrel, 
I, I got thrown off track. Was that the CW thing? Oh. What does CW stand for? Yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't seen that in the chat tonight because I, I asked I asked CW in the in the uh, green room. And I said, you know, somebody's going to ask what CW stands for, yeah, and he right. told me the story. So we'll we'll leave it at that. And if anybody wants to know, they'll ask in the chat, and I'll put it on screen. <laughs> Let's leave them hanging, right? Right, right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So tell tell me a bit about your your first experiences yourself that you could re recall as uh, you know being an outdoorsy person where you gone camping and then you said hey i really like this that would lead you eventually to doing what you're doing today um you know i it it, it just didn't and i'll be honest with you it didn't go that way um it was a little it was a little abstract um when i was was at you know i doubt we call it illinois department of transportation um i i had a buddy there and um still friends with him but he said uh, my nickname, <clears throat> by the way, since it, because I played drums, was Ringo. So I was Ringo <laughs> for years. And uh, I said, you know, R Ring, what you need to do, you know what you need to do is you need to get on. You know all these, these a uh, lot about camping and, and canoeing. And you should get on. You should have a, uh, you should start a business where you take people out or whatever and show them things. And um, uh, and then, I, you know, I let that sort of fester in my brain. And I said, oh, I don't know, you know. Um, and then this whole radio show thing he came about, and I go, Risky? His name was uh, Bill Rishka. And uh, we called him Risky, and I said, Risky, you know something? I'm going to take your idea, and I think I'm going to I'm going to use it, but I'm going to do it in a little different way. I'm going to do it on the radio. And he goes, oh, wow, that would be cool. So, you know, I don't know um, if, if there was a certain, um, you know, an idea that I had, you know, in the back of my mind that, Hey, I could do this or I could do that. I think it just sort of happened. It I think it's one of those things where God opens a door and you just, uh, uh, you walk through it or you don't. And mm -hmm. I just chose to walk through it. And, you know, there have been times that, uh, I said, Oh, did I do the right thing? You know? And, uh, uh, you know, macaroni and cheese and it's great peanut butter. But you don't want to eat it for your main course every night. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> there have been times I'm like 101 ways to make. What the hell was I thinking, man? You know? <laughs> yeah, and it happens, yeah. you know. But um, uh, that that's kind of how that whole thing began. I really didn't plan anything. As is, I, I there were a lot of things that I've done. I really don't plan. They just sort of happen. And I guess then you know if it's you know if it's meant to be or not. You know. So mm -hmm. by yeah. the way, Kevin just popped in there. And, yep. uh, um, uh, the answer to your question, sir, is yes. <laughs> yeah. Cheating on me, eh, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moonlighter. See how you are. <laughs> he's not hey, a put that drum, put that say, drum he's like, he's like a friend. live stream horror. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love, I, it. I love it. There we go. I, is, that's my, that's a new, that's a term I'm not familiar with. Live stream. Did you, what was it again? <laughs> Live stream, I don't know live stream horror. I like that. <laughs> That's beautiful, Dennis. I, I have a new term I could use. I, I could just see him in his chair right now. He's probably throwing a whiskey in the air. <laughs> and Come he's on probably, up. to defend yourself. I don't <laughs> He's probably drinking either. What is that? Old Forester, because he is an old Forester, as he said Cliff one night. Or what was that monkey butt or whatever it is they or monkey something monkey oh, yeah. shoulder I think that's what it is monkey shoulder yeah monkey he, shoulder. he I don't know I don't know where these guys that are uh, Scotch drinkers come up with so many different types of Scotch like I like you know I'm, I'm a bourbon guy right and I, I've got yeah. I know I know there's a lot of different brands out there but I got what uh, oh I may have, I mean, may have so, yeah the ones you I could afford <laughs> <laughs> right. I uh, I don't know that, but I tell you, I often wonder where they come up with the names for these uh, these whiskeys. And I keep thinking, well, they're probably drinking and going, okay, what do you think the name for this one should be? You know, and it's got to be, you know, sample yeah. your product and come up with a good name. Yeah. <laughs> here, here I am freezing up here on screen again. Um, so what what type of camping do you typically like to do yourself? Are you uh, are you like a backwoodsy type of guy, or are you more like the uh, the the trailer camper what's your preference honestly i like the backwoodsy kind of thing um that's that's my favorite and and that's not to say that i don't enjoy um glamping you know is is what most people call it um i i've really never been a trailer camper so to, uh, so to speak um but i have done a bit of glamping in other ways um but i most of what i like is uh is to go out and have um, no bathroom no 
you know, no facilities, no running water, any of this, that, or the other thing, uh, no cooler, you know, um, yeah. it, it, I've done all that stuff. And, and there is a little funny cooler story that happened, but I, I learned something the hard way, but I do like the backwards and, and the, um, being self-sufficient, you know, and, mm-hmm. and, and that's the fun to me. That's, that's the fun, you know? Do, do you prefer canoeing? Do you prefer kayaking, hiking? What's your, uh, what's your poison there? I'm a canoeist, you know, and I really enjoy hiking. Um, it, but you know, um, we're same age, 56. Uh, I went hiking here about a month ago and, um, for the first time I have really noticed this really bothered me, but I had, uh, an injury, a sports injury some years ago. And, and instead of having the doctor as, you know, he told me I can fix this the right way, or I can fix this the quick way and you'll be out playing ball, uh, in the spring. Um, I chose the fast way, you know, and he said, well, you're going to have arthritis and that thing later, that knee. And I'll tell you what, a month ago I did this and I, for two weeks, I was limping around here and I'm thinking, boy, if I can't hike, man, I'm, you know, during the winter and summer, I'm going to be miserable. So, but I do, I really do like hiking a lot, but my, my favorite is canoeing. Of course, uh, I have, I own a kayak. I enjoy it. Um, but going on trips, you need a canoe, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Sorry if you see me giggling here. In the back. It's all good. I, see, I see somebody down here in the green room <laughs> and I'm already laughing. <laughs> it's all good, man. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to break them off. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Mr. C, what are you doing, my man? <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm in a different place. <laughs> We're all at a different place. <laughs> I'm at Christine's and I got a heat pad. Hi, Christine. <laughs> so did she. <laughs> you know, I thought that looked like a Darth Vader collar or something like that. I mean, that's what what, what happened, sir? What what'd you do? Well, I'm old. I'm old. Well, I got a heat pad on, and Christine, <laughs> she's got a heat pad on. We were and, having this conversation. We're all old. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I I think I look sexy. I'm looking sexy. I'm looking you always look sexy, sexy Kevin. Yeah. I have never seen you not look sexy. Oh, Especially, I, I think it's, it's one of those cheap ones from Amazon. It's heating up. I, I <laughs> it's out of control. The sexiest one, I think, was one the, the one your mom didn't care for. That was the naked guy with the whiskey picture. Oh, she didn't. No. I know. You told no, me. She I, said, uh, yeah, that, that was so funny. Actually, the true story behind that, I was here a long time ago, and I, I forgot my, my bag when I was visiting. And I go, Christine, I got no clothes except the one what I'm wearing. <laughs> she goes, Well, I'll do laundry. So I took a picture of myself at her counter. I did have some trousers on, so just no, but but I took a picture of me with, with, with oh, now I am disappointed. Okay. And and so, uh and, and, Continue. Uh, and I I I posted it and my mom <laughs> she said, and again, 86 year old Scottish woman that's that's three feet tall. Well, you know, you shouldn't be doing that because you're not good looking. <laughs> you, you got Bones like a chicken. I thought you made that up, but she really said that. that you oh, are yeah. not good looking, yeah. son. <laughs> okay. Anybody that's ever met my mom, she'll know that. Yeah. <laughs> so Kevin's mom how you doing? Calls. was an ego booster. Yeah. So. There's somebody I've always wanted to have on my show right there. Hi, Christine. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, everybody. Hi, <laughs> Dennis. How you doing? Good. <laughs> um, so did we get the answer of why you're called CW? We did. Did you miss it? Yeah, well, actually, because I'm working tonight. It was, it was, it's cold weather. What? What? (laughs) Seriously? What I lie to you? What I lie to you? Come on. (laughs) No, it's not. That's really not what it means. What what if I told you it meant it stood for Cornelius Wilhelmina? Would you believe that Roman Roman Empire thing? Like, would you? Well, it could be. Okay. You know, I mean, it's your guess. What do you think? You know what? I'm speechless because there's a lot of things I could say right now. You've never been speechless. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was going to say, Kevin, really? I've done it. Johnny, tell him what he's won. <laughs> you know, uh, and, and people have, you know, all kinds of things, cold water, uh, corn weed, all kinds of stuff like that. But my yep. actual, my name, my first name is Craig and my middle name is Wayne. And, uh, you know, that wasn't cool when I was in a band in high school. I don't know if you and I had this conversation. Or not. Apparently we didn't. But uh, so I just took my initials and we went with that and that just sort of stuck. So, but a lot of people ask and I go, well, it means like Corn- Cornelius Wilhelmina. Oh, I see why you go by CW. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Lord. Really? So it's, it's <laughs> yeah. cooler. It's, it's 
cool. What do you mean? Talk to me like I'm four. What does that mean? Well, like, hey, I'm CW as opposed oh. to. Well, I think in high school it was cooler than Craig. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. And so, yeah, it's just sort of a thing where I'm in the band and we have to do something that sounds a little um, out of the ordinary, I guess, or, you know. So in high school, did you ever get stuck playing in a punk band? I did. Uh, I, I, I was in a punk band for a while. Uh, they Girl just said, hey, we need a drummer. Uh, actually, our name was Santa Syphilis, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> did that ever happen to you? I video footage of that. I do. We, actually, it's in the yearbook. There's pictures in the yearbook. I I just I yeah. showed that to my daughter. She didn't believe the story. It's in, it's in the yearbook. So uh, did you yes. ever have that happen to you? We well, had a punk, a punk band. band. Yeah, I, I joined a punk band. I didn't start one, but I joined a – We and I was actually in two of them. And actually, now we did a little – we did a little – um I, I think our school had something we had to do like a variety show and we had a skit in our, in our, that little punk band that we put together was called hot puss. What? Then, yes. Then. Oh, so Valley, Dennis. So was, sorry for, oh my God. <laughs> um, and then what was the next one was a little more. Yeah. Uh, that one was called quick fix, but it was quick Q U I K because the, uh, one of the, the, the lead singer had this, uh, um, thing about nestle's quick so he yeah so that was <laughs> quick better what he thought is about hey man it's like drugs man you know quick fix right you know but no oh my was, god nestle's quick okay i better switch the conversation with dennis it's gone downhill uh so, so <laughs> cw tell the story about you in the hotel room uh last year with uh cliff jigginson and uh and a whole bunch of other people um and we're talking about camping and um how serious the conversation was it was so serious that it felt like it, it felt like an investment show. I have to tell you, <laughs> an investment show. We talked about that earlier. Didn't we? <laughs> no, actually, you know, we we had a great time there, and uh, you know, there was some serious talk. I remember you guys talking about some things. I'm not going to repeat it, but um, you, there was some serious, uh, yeah, um, uh, what do I want to call biz talk there? You know, but I will tell you. One thing that I was I was pleased to discover, you know, I don't know that I really had any doubt, but Cliff Jacobson and Kevin Callen are real people. They're normal. They have they have the same stupid things happen as the rest of us have. And uh, they put their their shoes on. I always thought it was it happened, you know, simultaneously. Nope. One at a time. I don't know about the pants and I don't know and want to know about that. But the shoes, you know, they're human. They're normal. And I know people. You know, I, I, I do this and you know, I put Cliff up here in the rock star category, but that was just so nice to see that you, the both of you and uh, are just, we're just normal, nice people that, that uh, you, you're not, you know, big snobs or anything like that. And you are rock stars. So it was but, really, but, it was really see, fun. See, CW, remember when we trashed the, the, the uh, hotel room? That's yeah. because you threw the TV out the window. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We were fine until that oh, happened, and then, oh, yeah. Yeah. And then there were yeah. lights and sirens oh, and uh, Lord, boy, he oh, boy, oh, boy. Really hot. Christine, oh, my God. oh my God, it was on sale at Amazon. Don't, here, don't do it. Here, let, oh, let, 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 let's let's hear Christine go. <laughs> Kevin, you're really, <laughs> Kevin, you're really. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my <laughs> God. God. Oh, it gives a whole new fire. meaning to it. Gives a whole new meaning to Kevin. You're really hot. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's bad. I got to turn it off. Um, okay. <laughs> well, thanks for coming out, everyone. <laughs> the only thing we're missing right now is Cliff on here, right? Right, we, right. We should, we should absolutely. Give him a call. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know, hey, flash that. You would do me a favor, uh, Dennis. Flash that uh, campground photo that uh, that you have of me. There oh, for, okay. For, yeah. For Kevin, he'll like that. <laughs> <laughs> no heating pad required there. And, that's and, hot. And, right? <laughs> And by the way, just so you know, that was me camping back in 1993, I think it was. That was a legitimate camping picture. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the era of the hair rockers, right? Oh, God. I Is figured... he using to show that, too? Because I, I just posted something. Oh, sorry. Christine doesn't want to be in the film anymore. She's like, yeah. Oh, oh, we're not dating anymore? We're done. We're done dating. <laughs> I don't know, something Cause, happened. Because you're too old, man. I'm too <laughs> old. Right. Hey, she's got a heat pad on, too. <laughs> uh, C CW, so uh, what happened was really cool. Uh, a couple of days ago, I posted uh, an article I, I did about social media and how 
you know, it's getting kind of crazy, right? And you and you deal with it in your radio show and your TV show, and Dennis deals with it a lot. And how people judge, you know, what gear you use, and they judge, they judge, they judge. And I, I and I actually was, I was drinking mint tea when I wrote that article. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't whiskey, and I just went on a mini rant saying, "Hey, like we're all we're young, and we we did these things." So looking at that photo of you camping back, I mean, you've changed, right? You you probably didn't. You, you saying I don't I don't look the same? Before. Yeah, you, like you don't, really. you don't think I look the same? Well, no, I'm. I gotta <laughs> say, if, if you pulled up beside me at a campground looking like that, I would judge you, but I should not judge you, right? You know, it's funny you say that, and we're going to be doing a show about that. Uh, I don't even remember when it was scheduled, or no one had scheduled here, but we are going to be doing a show about something like that, and it is true. You know, they always say you can't judge a book by its cover, and a lot of people get discriminated against because of their appearance or, you know, the color of their skin or their gender or this, that, or the other thing or what they're wearing. But I tell you something, like you're, like you're driving it here. I've let a, met a, a, a lot of people. I've met a lot of people that look just like me in that picture. And they are some of the nicest, most sincere, honest people that you'd ever want to meet. And, and there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, don't judge the book by its cover. Um, you know, and unfortunately, you know, I don't see a lot of it. I have been part of it. I've been on the receiving side of it. But um, from the way I understand it, it does still exist and it's a little it's kind of a um, it's a little bit of a bummer that it does because one thing i enjoy about this community the most is the the most th this community has the most um what i want to say uh considerate kind people that uh, i've i've ever met in my life um yeah i came from a background of the bands you see the people who will stick a knife in your back at the first chance they get and there's a lot of them out there like that but this whole community is quite uh, 180 degree opposite. They're, the people are wonderful. And it's hard for me to believe that some of that even still exists, but I'll bet it does, right? Well, I mean, I, 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 I got a great story for that. I was in Timmins at this kayak race, um, and I was the keynote speaker. And uh, everybody's all it – it's a huge event. Like, Platinum yeah. Blonde was there as, as the, the, the head band. <laughs> I was in the green room with Platinum Blonde, and this was only a couple years ago. And – they're not patting them long anymore. There's, not so much. No, <laughs> Actually, uh, there was a lot of ago, <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't a real hair. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but then all of a sudden this uh, this motorcycle gang arrived, and the organizer was like, "Oh my god, this is not good. This is not good." And this right. guy, uh, Bob, uh, hey Kevin, how you doing? Kevin? <laughs> and he was one of my past students, and I teach you know rough students, right? And yeah, and uh, which I love. And then, so they all arrived, and I'm having a beer with this motorcycle gang <laughs> with Pat and Blonde before we do some canoe event. And yeah. um, they're lovely people. Yeah. I, because I know, I knew them. Like, it, it was like, guys, this is not a motorcycle gang. They're just guys on a bike that actually like camping. Yeah. And uh, we're all and ride motorcycles. Yeah. 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 And then they burned Timmons to the ground. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had to know that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm dumb. <laughs> you know, you know, um, I will tell you this. It, when I used to look like that, um, I guess people don't interact with you as much as they do if you have short hair and things like that. And they sort of do that. Um, what you just suggested a few minutes ago, I might judge you. And 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 they're when they're when they're judging you, they're looking at you, they're staring at you, and they're like, hmm. You know, I think we'll lock the camper tonight, honey. <laughs> you know that sort of thing. And you know, or maybe it's a, 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 a RC people like like you and I and Dennis probably too. If I saw that person, I I'm drawn more towards them than the normal person. That's how I am. Yeah. It, only, yeah. Only because I I was like I did look like that, and I'm like, hey, you know, I know how this works. You know, um, and just because you may look like a hell's angel doesn't mean you are one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm I'm the same thing. I'm a very curious person anyway. And, you know, very social. Um, yeah, I'm probably the first one to go, hey, how you guys doing? You know, um, and then the guy's voice sounds like Barry Gibb or something, you know, and you're like, see, not so scary after all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what was the one uh, or maybe two or three, whatever uh, guests you've had on that you you clicked and maybe your producer said, oh, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. But you clicked and said, no, we should have that person on. Did that ever happen? Um, 
I, I can't recall that ever happening. I, you know, I just saying maybe this guy, his name was Kevin and I can't oh, come on. <laughs> can't remember his last name, but he was a funny man. <laughs> no, um, no, I've never had that happen. I can tell you though, that my producer just, um, has started to recommend things to me and I'm like, okay, that's cool. That takes some of the brain work out of it for me. Um, but yeah, you know, I tell you, Dennis, you just touched on that. That's the only thing that saves my butt is, is a lot of times is having a producer and having a co-host. Um, I, I, I'm in, you know, a lot of times I'm an idiot. You know, I, I mess things up constantly. <laughs> I'm always like forgetting to do something or screwing this up or hitting the knob when I shouldn't be. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it's an, it really is a luxury, a blessing and a luxury to have that at my, uh, disposal if you will so when i watch when i watch your live stream show um I, wa I was watching the one on the uh the self-rescue uh just last week's show yeah and i seen up in the top left hand corner of the screen you had is that your producer that that occupies that spot y yeah that she or? she asked me she goes yeah you want me on the screen i said yeah sure leave it in there why not man you know and so she put it her thing up there uh that's roxy roxy is my producer yep okay um yeah, she she makes it all happen for me, and she is uh, she's a genius. <laughs> okay. She's saved me so many times, but yeah, absolutely. And do you, you mind if I ask what what's what's her role with like what 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 is she doing in the background? Um, well, she takes care of the sound. She takes care of the uh, well, the, like I said, the audio, the video, and she'll do the commercials for me. Uh, run those. I don't have to do anything here, but just do what I'm doing right now. Um, okay. Yeah, all the the opening theme and the closing and and the the bumpers for the commercials and the rejoiners and all that stuff. If something's wrong, you know what we had, um, uh, like like myself and a laptop here, and, and Jesse would have been in the other side of the uh, studio here, and there was a syncing thing with the video, and she can do the delays and make everything, and she knows I I have no clue, I wouldn't know where to start with all the that stuff. And You're just a pretty face, right? Yeah, I, just the face. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty stuff, you'll have to ask that Mr. Callum. Pretty face. Uh, he's, he's, know, he's, yes, he's, the, he's the hottie. I, I am hottie. I, I'm going, I mean that. Going to work. I, I got work to do tonight. I'm, I'm marking papers. <laughs> I, uh, so, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, uh, so... <laughs> so, CW, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you. Yes. What was, what, was it, what was the first show like that you had Kevin and Cliff on the show. What, what, how did that show go for you? You know, that was our anniversary show. That was the one year anniversary show. And I have to tell you, okay. I, I honestly, I've had, so I've had a number of fun shows, but I have to say that was probably the funnest one that I've had. Um, I, you know, I'll tell you sincerely, um, Cliff is there. There's no one like Cliff and, and, you know, <laughs> People tease like Kevin likes to tease Cliff a little bit. And I'm telling you, Cliff has the best, you know, sense of humor. He can take, he's, he's wonderful and he plays it up so well. And, uh, Kevin, I, I don't know if I know a funnier man than Kevin Callen. And, you it's know, the thing about CW, you imagine, like, so like Canadians, <laughs> I don't know if they know Cliff, uh, but in, in America, like, like he's been around for a long time. Like right. I, I grew up reading his books and, met him and as and, did and, i yeah but yeah. but when um i was on the other night at some show i forget what it was and they said well what what's it like uh being on stage with, with cliff uh you as a canadian and him and the big american guy i went well it's like being on the stage with with god mm -hmm. right and, and and i swear to god you know he would have a cigar and i'd be the john denver <laughs> character talking yeah. to god and mm -hmm. uh the, the same thing but I, I do remember at Canoe Copia when they, they said, well, you know, I have this idea. So I think Cliff and you know, I should be on stage debating about gear and stuff. And they're like, that will never happen. And he will never accept that. And I went, no, it's his idea. I, I'm coming yeah. to ask you that. <laughs> and, and that's a great way to define that, right? So very much Cliff, like th this is the way you hang barrels or you'll die. Yep. And, and I'll say, well, no. And then we'll laugh and have a scotch. You know, <laughs> and that's the that's the way it should be. You know, it's funny you say that because someone just uh, commented to me last week. They said, "You know that that uh, that older guy in your show, Cliff Jacobson." I go, "Yeah, um, I love the way he puts things." And I said, "Well, how? What do you mean?" You know, I mean, just tells it like it is. He go, "I'm telling you." They said, 
he, he was like, if you do this or if you don't, and you're in a situation like that and you find yourself in a rap and you have, what do you, what, you're, you'll die. <laughs> Just real blunt. Like you'll die. <laughs> I'm like, you, you gotta love that. You gotta appreciate that about him. Yeah. Um, and you know, and and let's just go to you know, you guys both on the show at the same time. It, it was like having uh, Ringo and Paul on the show at the same time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Ringo here, <laughs> who's before you, um, you know, you're you're both jokesters and pranksters, and I love that about you guys. I knew it was going to be a fun show. I just didn't know how fun it was, and it and it uh, surpassed my expectations. And I and I want to thank you here for that. Um, and there was a third person on that show as well. Though, yes, Darlene person. Patterson. Yeah, yes, yeah. Darlene. Oh, yes. And she plays it, it very well, too. And she's she's just such a great uh, personality, too. And it made the whole show complete. And having a female perspective on on these types of things just rounds it out. It, it completes everything. It really does. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, that, that's just me. That's just my. I, I'm gonna have to reach out to Cliff on uh, to have him on the show. I'd love to have him on the show. Absolutely, well. yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a very knowledgeable fellow. Like he, like you say, he's been through the ringers many times with all this, right? He knows the stuff. So wonderful actually, man. He Super also does throw a lot of good into the community that people don't see. So he's very opinionated, and I, I do know people that say, well, they either like Cliff or they don't like Cliff. There's no in between. And but I see all the stuff he's done to help people that he doesn't care about promoting. And that's when I started liking him. Um, mm -hmm. He's done the real deal for that. And Darlene, actually, oh my God, I think she's talented more than uh, all of us. Right. So mm -hmm. uh, but I tell you, there's been times uh, we, we start talking in the, in the green room about uh, the, the, the shows we've done and don't ever let Cliff drive anywhere with you. So Darlene <laughs> has taken the wheel so many times. We were trying to find the, sh the show where we're supposed to meet for dinner. And he stopped to ask for directions, and there was a, a cocaine deal in, in downtown Little Michigan, whatever. I don't know where it was. And Darlene controlled the whole entire thing. I would go paddling with her far more than Cliff, I'm telling you right now. Wow. Wow. In the middle of a drug deal. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've not had the pleasure to drive or to ride in an automobile where he was driving, but um, – you know, I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, I'd like no, to experience what these stories no, are all about. <laughs> no, it's like doing a class five rapid. <laughs> yeah. Funny. On, and, on cocaine. Oh, boy. Jack here is asking, did Kevin and Cliff get into the discussion about where to hang your food pack or whether to hang your food pack? And actually, I watched the show and they didn't really get into much. You two didn't get into too we much. We weren't training. allowed. We weren't yeah. allowed. The, the, the organizer said, okay, we only have a certain amount of time. Yeah. Don't get into these discussions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, but you know what? You really got to go watch the episode there, uh, Jack. Go, go, go! Check out CW's uh, YouTube channel, and it's oh no, it's not on there either. That's the one that got pulled, right? That's the one that got yeah. That's the is, one. That is got, there got any pulled. chance that that'll be going back up, or where, where can people view that one? You know, I don't think they put things like that back up. It, you know, ironically, I and I don't even know. There's like a ghost in my machines here sometimes. Um, but I did go back on something, and I and I watched it like a week after it had been uh, blacked out or whatever they call that. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, and I, and in fact, Kevin, I sent a link to you. I go, Hey, I actually think they put it back up and they cut the, because the whole video was, they cut the beginning out of it for what the music was. And you guys opened it up. Darlene goes, uh, I don't see, I don't see it. And it's like, there's nothing, man. And the link wasn't even there. And I'm well, like, the, okay, well, the good thing though, is, is the audio still up, but I put the link up the audio. You can still hear the audio. Yes. You can't see the video, which is a really good thing. Cause Cliff was wearing a lime green <laughs> <laughs> Jersey, like a, like a, a workout Jersey, like oh, yeah. old lime green. And yeah. I, I, after the interview, I said, can I see the, the white Adidas? And he had them on. So it's probably a good thing. We did not see that. That was the, uh, sexy body, uh, comment that I think he self-proclaimed sexy body. Yeah. It was like a, what a green um, jogging suit or something, right? Was it? It, it, it was, yeah, and I've I liked seen that before. And I tried to keep a straight face. I like I it. <laughs> I loved I it. Thought. I thought it was great. I love it. Word of advice, OCW: If you yes. if you don't know if you have it somewhere, yeah. go into your Streamyard software. Right? They it records and it holds onto it for a month. Oh, interesting. So I'm you can go to... in there and you could actually download it, and then you could edit out. You can edit out the the musical part. And then okay. still be able to post it back up to your Facebook, but you can download gonna, it from uh, from Streamyard. I'm going to have to ask Rex. Oh, but that. it's so cool! That's, to that's be, cool. I mean, that Thank was you. a huge honor, though, to for me to be introduced by Van Halen song. I mean, I 
I, I was talking to my daughter on Sunday. I said, hey, yeah, I was on this uh, this American oh, show, eh? like CW uh, can't be show. I've never heard of that. Yeah, well, you know what? I was introduced by Van Halen. Oh, <laughs> she started paying attention. Ears like what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. Hey, you know, just be uh, glad she didn't say Who's Van Halen? Who's Van Halen? Yeah, I knew that was coming. I'm, honest, I'm quite proud of her actually for Van knowing. who? She was really yeah. upset the other day that during her entire class, she used a, a Blondie quote, and they nobody knew who Blondie was, including the teacher. <laughs> so I, I was quite proud of her. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm going. I, I actually have to work and look like like. Did I'm you get what you got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, get this by the way. Uh, guess did you say you had? What, what did you wait a minute? What did you just say? You had to go to work? No, I'm I'm marking papers tonight. I, I, I really oh, do. Oh, I thought I things. thought your your so your mother actually was really she was system been hammering on you. Get a real job and get the whole. So now you're, you yes, have to. I have a real yes. No, I will not. So you have to. <laughs> well, here's the ironic thing. So guess who's retiring next week? She's fifty years old and she because she's worked for the federal government, never worked her day in her life, I tell you. You know <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here, Kevin. I'm right here. I can hear you. <laughs> oh hi. <laughs> you know. Well, she's retiring because she worked at the Kingston Pen and, and they give them breaks because they dealt with prisoners. People do but, that uh, here. Um, People so, do that. They retire at fifty. Yeah. Oh, cry me a river. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> but uh, so I, today we're talking. I went. You do know I can't retire because I'm a Canadian writer. And <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Now, Kevin, if you were in the states, you would have hopefully, you know, maybe had something where you could. Uh, put into your uh, what do they call it? So social security here. So there would have been some little, uh, little on the side for you. We call it here robbing a bank. You yeah. have that. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and the challenge is don't get caught. No, I no. You know what? Um, I don't think it really. I don't think you'll like be able to go on vacations on that sort of money. But uh, but yeah, I, I you have a system like that in Canada, don't you? Yeah, but not for people working for themselves. No, we don't either. Unless yeah. you contribute to it, I think you can contribute to it. Most people. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Most I'm cutting off. <laughs> hey, Kevin. One last question. I got one. One, so one last question. You. One last question for you, Kevin. And I didn't mean to interrupt you. Listen to the opening theme of my show, and let me know what you think of that, Mister Musician, Mister Drummers, Mister Drummer. Oh, his new, his new opening. Yeah, well, because we you know one of, the, yeah. one of the best drummers that I, I I tell my daughter about on Sunday was Blondie's drummer, amazing drummer. He was he was that. very good. He was very yeah. good. I no, I don't remember his name, but he was very good. Yeah, See, was very that's fast. the problem. Nobody will remember your show or my show or even Dennis's show, but we're good. We're really yeah. good. <laughs> I love it. You know, that's the thing is when, when you get older, the mind is the first thing to go. I can't remember what the second thing is, but yeah, it, it's a terrible thing. What's well, that? I can't thing. even remember what you just said. What? <laughs> oh my God! You're out of control, hey. all of you. Kevin, cheers with my empty Heine bottle here. All right, cheers. I got to go to work. I swear to God, you're retired. You don't do anything. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate Bye. it. Good seeing you, bud. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, like he's Kevin's a, always a blast to have on. He's show. a hoot, man. man. I love him. He, yeah, he's, he is he's a, a character. Hoot. When you get him and Cliff Jacobson together, it's uh, definitely a, a fun, fun time. Definitely yeah. a good time. So what, what do we got? What do we got in store for uh, upcoming here for uh, the campaign? You know, show? I what knew you were going to ask me that, and that's the sheet that did not print. Um, I can tell you this: we're doing an episode on um, equality in the outdoors. Um, we're doing uh, another one. There was a family that's an actual uh, uh, family that is doing the RV uh, life, and I'm trying to think if they've been. I think they've been on the road for a year, maybe a little over a year. Um, now, tomorrow's show is going to be Dan Bush from uh, Canoe Copia. Canoe Copia, yeah. Uh, Ruta, why I can't think. Rutabaga Paddle Sports, who hosts Canoe Copia, yes. And um, the last time, oh, we did a we did a remote there um, last uh, September, I think it was. But prior to that, I had talked to him the day that they canceled the show. So I, I'm going to be interested to, to to hear what he has to say about you know where they've come you know, from that point and where they're at now and how things are going. But, uh, yeah. Um, and then we've got, uh, we've got a couple of things coming up from, for, um, um, and I'm trying to think where that was at, um, 
it, it's it's outdoor, it's skiing. There, it's a part. It's kind of like a marathon sort of thing. It's it's a skiing, a hiking, uh, snowshoeing, that sort of thing. Um, and I can't tell you what country it is, but it is in Europe. So mm-hmm. um, I'm not sure if it's where it's at Norway or Austria or something like that. But um, that's an episode. So we've got some really cool things in store. Some things I think you'll be interested. In. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've been enjoying your your show of late, and uh, yeah, yeah, keep them coming for sure. It's uh, something that's uh, enjoyable. And you know what? If we could bring more entertainment to the masses right now within this genre, this thing that we do here, this outdoorsy type of stuff, uh, you know, the more the better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. I hope you'll come on my show, Dennis. Too. I mean, I um, I want to have you on my show and and uh, learn a little more about you and and you know, your background and, and all that sort of stuff. Same kind I'd of. Love to. I think that'd be uh that, that yeah. would definitely be a lot of fun. Probably one of my first times I'd ever be on a podcast. <laughs> yeah. It'll be, uh, it'll be a great time. Yeah. I got, I got another question here in the comment. If anybody are in the, in the chat over here, <laughs> if anybody else has any questions, feel free to put them in there or we will draw the show to a close for the evening. But uh, Brandon Cosman's asking, uh, what was one of your favorite topics you discussed on your show or a subject that you learned the most about? That's a great question. Um, you know, that was a recent show and I, boy, you know, I, I remember thinking to myself, I, I'm going to look here, but I, I remember thinking to myself that, wow, I didn't, um, I didn't know a lot of this. Um, I'll tell you one thing that I, one show, while I'm trying to remember that one, I will tell you that there was a young lady by the name of Ellen Falterman who had, uh, when she was 18 years old, had paddled the Amazon River. And I don't know how much of the Amazon River she had paddled with her brother. And she had recently, um, last fall, I believe it was, completed, oh, it was like over 2,500 miles, I think, a trip down the Mississippi River and uh, into the Gulf of Mexico and along the Texas uh, coast. That was something that I, I was just truly amazed by. I mean, that what that would take to do that. And, um, you know, it, it's one of those things you, sometimes you think you've got things tough or you, you, Oh, I've really done a, accomplished a lot in my life. And then you, you see someone like that and you just go, wow, I have, I really I have so much respect for, yeah. uh, for someone that does something like that. Um, you know, I can't think of the name of the show that, that we're talking about, but I have learned, um, I have learned a lot, a, a, a lot of things by doing this show. Uh, there are, there are so many things out there, outdoor activities that, you know, you think you go, yeah, I got it. You put a pack on your back and you hike and you walk and you, and you have no idea about some of the things that they go through. Um, you learn about some different gear. What's most interesting is to learn about people's mindset. Mm-hmm. And what goes on, what they're thinking and, and how they're feeling when they're doing these adventures, especially the ones that take place in very remote places. And uh, those those are my favorite, favorite shows when when people are, are talking about their inner, you know, what's going on, their emotions, their feelings, they're scared, they're they're angry. They're um, that's when you truly find out what you're about if that's you in that that place and you really learn about those people that open up and share that sort of thing with you so yeah yeah Thank, yeah and the question. you know th- those are some of my favorite shows too when people like you know th- those who over exceed expectations you know or, or or take on a challenge that's something that is like wow like a wow challenge right yeah uh, absolutely you know whether yeah. male or female uh because everybody's capable of doing these things and the fact that like we, we I've had some I've had some rather empowering women on the show here. You you mentioned Karina, Alexis, uh, mm-hmm. uh Camper, Christina, Tori Baird, uh yeah. just to mention a few that have been on the show and they have fantastic stories. And they're they're just like you you mentioned earlier in the show too. We're we're just average people, right? We we tie yeah. our shoelaces the same way, uh, you know, and we we all carry on the same way. And they but they they have challenges in their lives. Um you know, and you, we mentioned Corey Baird, you know, very empowering woman, you know, she, they, they have a, a child with a, a disability, a, a disability. And, you know, it's, yeah. uh, 
it's something that that's very taxing to both her, him and her and Jim, right? But uh, they get through and they still manage to be able to to do these types of things yeah. and at the same time show the love to their child that they need, right? And to me, that that's that's really awesome. And the fact that they take their knowledge, or Tori's taking her knowledge and she's willing to share that with other women, right? Yeah. It's a business platform, but also she's doing it because it's a passion for her, right? She's a very impressive person. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, there's a, there's a common thread. If you, you know, if you, if you listen to what these these experts and these people are talking about, you know, it's, I know everybody likes gear. We all like to play with gear. You know, I just bought another, a new knife the other day or whatever, but uh, we all like gear, but really what it's about. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's about experiences. It's about people. It's about emotions. It's about feeling. And why do we do this? It's, you know, it's not because it's got cool equipment. Well, maybe there are some people, but it's really about the human side of things. You know, sure. we go out in the outdoors because it makes us feel this way. And, and to share that with a, with a, a community of people is, is very special. You know, it's not all about gear and things like that. Now, if you were into racing cars, it's about gear, <laughs> you know, it's about, yeah. it's about that yeah. sort of stuff. That's yeah. what make this, makes this community so unique and so special is because it is a lot about of the things that I just mentioned, you know? Sure. Cliche yeah. question for you. What's your sure. favorite piece of gear? <laughs> my, my favorite piece of gear. Um, <laughs> probably my radio. Uh, you know, I, I would, <laughs> uh, you know, there's probably some truth to that too. You know, honestly, I don't know if I've got a favorite piece of gear. I, maybe I would tell you it would be, um, I don't know, probably my Dutch, my Dutch oven. And I tell you the reason it, it would be that if, if there's any favorite piece of gear is because it's so versatile. There's so much you can do with that thing. And I know it's kind of heavy as hell to carry around. I have an aluminum one, which it's a little lighter than the cast iron one. Uh, I used to take a cast iron one back a uh, long time ago, but I will tell you that's probably my favorite piece of gear. It's, it's bulletproof. It's you, it's, it's um, uh, what I want to say, uh, multi-use. It's very versatile. So I would say that. Yeah. Cool. Next might be a knife. <laughs> oh, did I lose you there, Dennis? Yeah. Yeah. My internet's just, uh, you okay. know, what? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's the witching hour, right? So, right. It's right. Yeah. That's what everybody's on video gaming right now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah for mm -hmm. sure. Well, you know what? We're closing in on the two hour mark. So maybe we'll uh, we'll call it to an end for the evening. Uh just want to say, CW, thanks very much for coming on and uh sharing your your uh your show with us here. Uh, it's great to know. Hopefully, uh some of our followers will get on there and check out your show on Wednesday evenings. Tell everybody once again where they can find you. Uh they can find me at cwgetsoutdoors.com. It's my website. Um, it's at CW gets outdoors on the, uh, Instagram and CW gets outdoors on Facebook and CW gets outdoors on the YouTube channel. So there you go. And one final question for Julia, cause this is a cute question. I like that. Sure. Do you have any other fun lingo, like pushing snowflakes? <laughs> 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 I've got a lot of that and, and I try to suppress some, I try to keep some of that to myself, but yeah, I mean, you know, there are things like, uh, you know, make that idiot proof and, uh, uh, not my first rodeo cowboy, you know, and things like that, you know, um, yeah, pushing snowflakes down the interstate. That's, that was one of my favorite cool. ones because that's what you do really, you know? Yeah. yeah. But thank you yeah. for that. <laughs> so everybody check out CW gets on uh, all, all his social media. Once again, all the links are in the description down below. If you want to learn a little bit more about him or his show, uh, it's all there for you to, uh, to click on and follow through. So by all means, please do so. Uh, once again, tonight's question for the swag giveaway was what's the name of CW gets radio podcast and television show. We've mentioned it a million times throughout the show, so hopefully everybody is paying attention. You can send that answer to coasprize at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, that'll be about that. I'm going to put you in the uh, green room, uh, CW. Don't go away. And uh, I'm just going to close up the show, and we'll have a little chat here in the green room after uh, all is said and done. Sounds great. Thanks, Dave. Thanks again for spending your Tuesday evening with us. You bet. All right, everybody. Hey, thanks very much, everyone, for uh, for tuning in tonight. Uh, just wanted to remind everybody that next week, 
great topic of uh, discussion. We're going to be joined from uh, a fellow by the name of Rooster is his nickname that he goes by. His name is Craig Roost, and he is uh, an actual uh, axe designer from Council Tools. You're going to get to learn a little bit more about axe safety, uh, something to keep you a little safer in the backcountry. Uh, he'll be giving us some information on, you know, selecting the right type of axe uh, for the needs that you're going to be doing because there are so many different styles. But uh, most importantly, we are going to be talking about axe safety. We want to keep you safe in the backcountry. We don't want anybody taking a limb off or uh, getting out one of those really nasty gashes that you can't treat in the backcountry. So next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. On the 16th, we are going to have uh, John and Jeremiah, uh, a couple of hosts from the podcast and live stream show called The Hiking Show. And it's going to be uh, for something that's going to be really good for hikers. These guys know their stuff. They have a really good podcast. And uh, be another one of those things where I'm introducing you to something that uh, might be of great interest to you to, uh, to check out. So be sure to tune in or put that on the calendar for the 16th. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please do smash the thumbs up. It really helps us get noticed by YouTube. It really does help the channel quite a bit. And... Uh, yeah, that, uh, that'd be a great favor if you haven't already done so also and you enjoyed the content that you've seen tonight, please do hit the subscribe button because that also helps us as well, obviously. Uh, let's see, any last final closing things? Um, you know what? That's about it. So anyways, everybody, thanks very much for tuning in on this fine Tuesday evening with CW Gets Outdoors, and uh, we will see you next week. In the meantime, remember, people, keep the adventures alive.